this you mic is new. Mic, you fuck. You new know what? mic, new cord. I, uh, I for a moment, I looked at microphones for uh, like 20 minutes online the other day. Cool. Went on Craigslist, uh, found a $500 microphone for 80 bucks. Still waiting for this guy to get back to me. I'm desperate. I want it so bad. Mm-hmm. For what worst possible timeline, obviously. Obviously. Yeah. We're set here. People, yeah. Are we? On tour, people compliment the clarity of our podcast, which I think is often janky and fucked to shit. But until you compare it to other When you compare podcasts, it to other podcasts, yeah. Yes. <laughs> when you compare it to... Skype session. Yo, yeah. Oh, that was rough. Uh, I apologize to everybody for that. I was the yeah. worst. You both, you sounded very I sounded good. okay, yeah. I was talking into that computer and over there, so good. I don't know how great it was. But that, you know what, most podcasts, like... Our shit? Yes. Oh, sound like that. Yes, agreed. Like, they're like wrestling podcasts. There's yeah. literally three dorks across the country being like... <laughs> like, it sounds like a... CB radio. Like, they're talking on WFAN in, like, 1992. Cheat code. Uh, a lot of this stuff isn't that expensive. If you're recording your podcast with a cell phone in the middle of a table and you're just kind of talking around it... You can you can bump you can up. upgrade. Uh, because here's the... 100 th- bucks. Do it. Right. Here's the secret, everybody. Uh, the closely held secret that people don't understand. Uh, the four hundred dollar microphones that you see if you turn on like Joe Rogan or any of those, uh, unless you also have a mixing board that is going to complement what you're doing, uh, it doesn't matter. You can get hundred dollar mics and you're going to sound almost as good as a four hundred dollar mic just because it does. What you're sending it through matters at the end of the day. Yeah. So. Everybody, just don't go for the lowest end. If you go for uh, lower, lower plus, you're going to be fine. <laughs> Welcome to Lower Plus Podcast. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. So, uh, before we begin, let's let's give a shout out to our sponsor, shall we? Uh, Triple B Records. Oh, Triple B today. What? Oh, what's happening? Sorry. It's okay. No, it's all we, right. We just got hit with a copyright strike. Whoa. Uh, so, uh, Triple B. Now, they have a, a, a an exciting slate of releases that I know nothing about. Well, it's funny that you ask. Okay. Because you've got it. Sam hit us with this summer slate. Who fucking knows I'm drowning? Yo, you okay? No, I'm good. I'm just being dramatic. Mm. Ha ha. I Ha-ha. thought that was a band name. <laughs> who the <laughs> that, fuck that's who a, fucking knows I'm drowning? That's They're touring with Wrist Meets yeah. Razor, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, Abuse of Power LP, Buried Dreams LP, Ghost Main 12 inch, Trail of Lies 7 inch, Be All End All LP, oh. Antagonize LP. So that Trail of Lies thing that I've seen uh, promoted is a 7 inch. Yes. Good. Good. Yes. I didn't know I didn't know what it was going to end up hey, look. If Starring you've got the, the cl- yeah. if you got the clout to get people to buy a 7 inch, do it once or twice. Regional Justice Center 12 inch, Division of Mind LP, Restraining Order LP, Dominant Force 12 inch, Never Ending Gain Game LP, oh. Anxious 7 inch, Jump into an Nosebleed LP. 7 inch. Yo, some yeah. of these bands bold, man. R.I.P. Detain. Yeah. Long live Never Ending Game. You know Detain's what? done. Well, Detain. Uh, Detain's efforts are in into Never Ending Game at the moment. Uh. Detain is like uh, the big burly dude who's in the coma at the hospital. Mm. But it's sort of like Sleeping Giant. Blood you don't sport. know when he's gonna come up. It's yeah. Bloodsport. It's after. It's after Ogre gets hurt in Bloodsport. Got now, it. yo, that's Detain Last Blood. Oh, it's gonna be go. like the new Rambo movie. That's the <laughs> Detain LP Last Trailer Blood. Trailer looks pretty good. Coming out, yeah, it looks really good. Twenty twenty two. Yeah, with Detain, whenever whenever you decide to come back into action, you, please contact directly. Uh, I'm, exci- <laughs> I'm, I'm excited. My um, DMs are open. But Slide I'm in. but I'm also excited for this never ending game record. Uh, mm. I did not know they were jumping to LP. That's bold, and we'll you you think good move. We're gonna find out. You together. know why? Because do an LP. Don't do seven inches, folks. <sighs> I'm on the other thing. I think twelve inch EPs are the format. Twelve inch EPs are the format. Not not seven inches though. So. Um, that's some of the stuff, but they did put out something else that came out and has been a big deal. Tell me about it. What is it? I would like to talk about it. Okay. Magnitude. Okay. To whatever fateful end. How'd you feel about it? I loved it. Yeah? Yes. Okay. So here. It's here. really well done. Yes. It's a 90s record with a non 90s recording. Uh huh. Um, Agreed. Lyrics are really good. Cover's cool. It's. it's I feel like it, it may be. I think it may be like the zenith of, or like the end, the omega oh, Jesus. of that style of record. And from what I'm told, people agree with you and think it's the best of this wave of kind of 90s resurgence yeah. interest. Well, I mean, it's hard to say. Like, yeah. I mean, Incendiary's 90s, Foundation's 90. You know what I mean? Like, there's a lot. But I think of like this newer crop, like, yeah. I feel like it's really difficult. It's gonna be hard to top this, yeah. Without moving into like a, a slightly different direction, 
Mm. That's an interesting topic. The idea that ne- was something so, uh, the platonic ideal of something arrives, and now we've got to pivot. You know, I mean, that, that's an interesting idea. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how far uh, a field the pivot will be, but I think this record is really good. I think you'd love it. I, I heard the acoustic uh, guitar, and I, I said, no, I'm good. It's four good. interludes, but the tracks are tracks. Yeah, so it has track. tracks, if you were. Uh, okay, all right. So what you're going to want to do is go to triple B records dot limited run dot com. Enter the promo code axe to grind. And Tom, what do you do? Spell it out. And you get 10% off. Uh, so go get that, that magnitude LP and keep an eye out. A lot of these records are coming out fast and furious. Yeah. Um, go Don't. pre-order stuff. You can't use the code on pre-orders, but go support them with a pre-order order the other stuff and get that discount. Also, I'm going to give a triple B shout out if I can, which is, uh, so triple B has a pretty broad, range of stuff it puts out at this point right mm-hmm. uh but there's still stuff that it might not be known for and that stuff it's easy to overlook in somebody's catalog so i want to give a shout out to fuming mouth and make sure that oh, nobody yeah. that's out. overlooked that because of something more traditionally triple b like uh, this is a uh, this is my only concern for the regional justice center record which i heard the other day and is really good i believe it, it. if if you're if triple b if that's not their lane and there's triple B kids, quote unquote, who are excited for releases on either side of that. Yeah. It's possible to get lost in that shuffle. So uh, magnitude, certainly people were looking for. But if people weren't looking for the Fuming Mouth record, I want everybody to be aware of Absolutely. it. Absolutely. We're going to talk about Fuming Mouth a little later today. Too. Okay. All right. um, on to another sponsor. We're going classics today mm. because we're going to talk about Death Wish Inc. Oh, yeah. The Tell homies. What, what so they have one record that's coming out, and then I, I want you to talk on one. Okay. Uh, Where Your Wounds has a new record out. Touring um, with Torch, which is a privilege mm-hmm. in my view. Are they? Yes. Mm-hmm. After this uniform tour. Yes. Yes. Interesting. So the Where Your Wounds LP, everybody should go check it out. For those who are uninitiated, it's Jake Bannon from Converge's, not solo, but his uniquely him project. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Definitely Band. not Converge. No, banned some All Stars. Yep, but it's it's very cool. It's very interesting. It's got its own thing going on. But we, we big up Deathwish Distro all the time, right? We do, yeah. What's that new thing? It's they pretty got? fucking tight. Yeah, and I don't want to bad mouth any of the classics like Rev or whatever. But mm-hmm. for for my mail order dollar, which is rare, I admit, I'd probably go with Deathwish. Uh, so. Uh, what's coming out uh, exclusively? Uh, mm-hmm. They are uh, exclusively distributing the Jerome's Dream record. Now, this is notable because I shitted on it very, very hard on this very program. Mm. And now I'm going to big up it. Do you know why? Because Death Wish is putting it out? Because I'm a hypocrite. Correct. <laughs> so, uh, no, here's the actual reason. Uh, because there's no reason not to check it out, and I want everybody to take this as a learning experience. The other day, I listened to the... We talked about it hypothetically of mm-hmm. me listening to a dude who tried to kill me, and and oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did it the other day. And it was all right. It was fine. I okay. mean, it was not yeah. great. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it wasn't it was great fine. music, but, it, but, but it, was, it was fine. The point is, is... If I if I can change and you can change, ro- the end of we Rocky Four. Change. Yes, yeah. the end of Rocky Four. If I can listen to a dude who tried to kill me, then you can listen to I can listen to uh, Jerome's Dream, who, to my knowledge, has never tried to kill me. And they have another thing that we're going to be talking about later on in this same episode. Okay. So go to deathwishinc.com, enter the promo code X to grind, and you're gonna and you spell that out, screech it out, screech it out, ten percent off, scrams it out, boom, boom, boom. Big shout out to our other sponsors, Closed Casket Activities. What? what? Run for Cover Woo, Records. Boom. Uh, 10% off at Closed Casket. 15% off at Run for Cover. Go to the respective web stores. Same code. Axe to Grind. Spell it out. Thank you. Whoop, hey, whoop. What's your name? My name is Patrick. I'm Bob. And I'm Tom. Welcome to Axe to Grind. Mm. Fresh fucking for the 2019. It feels like it's the first time we recorded live this year. Back in the saddle. Back Damn! I was just talking game. about Aerosmith, and now you did. Yes, I was going for a long time. Did I miss Aerosmith conversation? We you were. Did, yeah. We were talking about things being cool and then not cool, and then yeah. We when we yeah. do our non-core conversation, we can definitely get into it because uh, the idea of uh, of cool as a commodity or cool as a as a uh, coinage, uh, everybody needs to get over it. Aerosmith's lame, but that we right. agree that it would have been fun as fuck to in make those shows. <laughs> Dude, in 1977, 1990, I'd be excited to be in an Aerosmith yeah. show. You know, like two, three months ago, it was cool to do karaoke on a couch. Yes, it was. <laughs> now, 
you, you sing a cheerleader into your phone. Mm. Now it's different. Mm. Now you're not singing Little Feet, mm. no, Chicken I, Dixie, whatever the fuck. Dixie yeah. Chicken. And, 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 and I'll be back <laughs> to it. Land. I just need privacy, man. We do need to do. Anywhere. We do need to do the karaoke night. I'm, I'm with that's that. That's it. So pick, we're on your songs. I've been working off you. Mm. I mean, we're professional singers, so yeah, you guys are pros. I know. Don't know if everybody knows that. This dude's been working on it six weeks straight. So (laughs) it's true. Um, Very tired, guys. What was I going to tell you? Oh, so we big shout out to all our Patreon fans. All your shirts are out there. Enjoy that shit. Now here's shout out to John Contino. Sorry, yeah, shout out to John. Yeah, good good design. Actually, it looks quite good in person. Crisp. So one of the things I was doing, and uh, if you didn't get one of these shirts, if you, you all got the shirts, if you didn't get one with a personal note, it's because. I ran out of fucking steam. I wrote like 60 of them. <laughs> I was like, damn, this is this is doubling up my time to ship all these out. So it was um, a very cool idea. Yes. It worked well. I saw them on like Instagram. Yeah. A lot of people post them. Santa people, Bob over yeah, here. Yeah. So the one thing I did do, uh, our buddy Manny, mm. I just picked one because I didn't have anything to write to him. So I was like, all right, you get to pick a band we do a deep dive on. Manny's what? a hustler. Yeah, okay. What did you choose? Do you want to guess the band he, did, he picked, Tom? I mean, I, I, you, I you saw cheated. the email. I didn't, I didn't see it. I, I, Pat I, has never checked the email ever. No. I at, think, once, one, at work every once in a while, uh, like there are definitely notes in there for you. I'm sure. I try to forward them, or the ones that I think he definitely won't respond to. I just, like, you know, what am I supposed to John, do? John, who, who got us into, or, or tried to get us into Drawbreaker, got me into mm-hmm. Drawbreaker, wanted to write, and, you know, he, he, it was kind of tailored some stuff to you, and some stuff to Bob, and some stuff to me. There are a friend who I can't remember his name in Chicago saw you at the Whole Foods while oh, we that's were recording. Ch- 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 oh, you ruined it. Oh, that was a whole. It's okay. It's all right. <laughs> I was I supposed to guess that was <laughs> no, a thing? no. I, it, it was, I was going to put it in a mailbag. Where it's, oh, damn okay. it! All right. Okay. Oh, well, that, we then. still so can. I don't. No, know no, no. It's fine. Um, Manny picked for us to do a self-defense family deep dive. Oh God. <laughs> God. So uh, Manny, you're canceled. Yeah. I like so that. I like that circle, that Manny. Yeah, uh, Manny's Manny's dope as shit. Manny drives like three hours to get to shows. Man, Manny's, oh, you know Manny. Manny's the man. Okay, so uh, you know if he, he made the request for self defense, well, you know. I didn't know that, but we're talking. Uh, th- this is Manny in Northern California, yeah. Somewhere in California. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. You slip him a twenty? No, but Manny should, is, Manny's yeah. just like that dude. He's he is a cool dude that drives from like farm country, okay. California. To catch to shows in the bay, yeah. Okay. So the the spoiler was while we recorded that Patreon episode, while you were at the Whole Foods in Chicago, somebody saw me. A dude who wrote to us about seeing you at Whole Foods in Chicago like a year ago uh-huh. saw you again at this one. Walked into the bathroom and you saw him and he saw you and you were both wearing the same red button up plaid shirt. Oh, okay, yeah. And looked away at each other. Yeah. And then he's like, and then and then I tapped my foot underneath. Uh-huh. The, the the stall and, and we engaged the in love. action went yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> first time seeing a boob in like six months <laughs> why job. not yeah uh, they the security guard did question if you were uh, from the methadone clinic I looked like I had I had two bags and a sleeping bag whenever you're walking around with a sleeping bag yeah. you're suspect for shoplifting no yeah of course because it looks like you're like yeah. making your way you're sleeping across. outside how what's how long do you wait for in Chicago for a train uh, I had a four hour layover. Oh, okay. And you're uh, in Union Station, right? So it's close to stuff? It's close, minute to, walk close to Whole Foods, yeah. yeah. All right. That's all I needed. Yeah, so we'll read that later. Sorry for the spoiler. That's funny. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's just yeah. as good now. Yo, it's good. Do, do you know... Uh, like, I can so delete the email. Now. I've had girlfriends and bandmates both question me on this. Like when I'll say, oh, yeah, no, somebody at the Whole Foods just said what's up. And they'll be like, how come I never see it? You, yeah. You're a fake celebrity. How come, like, how yeah. come I never see anybody... But I swear to Jesus, Whole Foods is the only place that I get recognized. Well, now you're known for it. Right. But yeah, if, I, if I hung out at a Whole Foods almost anywhere in the country for a full you day. You feel like you could, someone would see you and know you. Yes. Okay. They might you not think, like me or like no, anything no. I do or right. whatever. But but I think the podcast has, has helped tether you to Whole Foods so much. Sure. That people go like, if they saw you in a Target, they may not recognize no, you. No, no. But they see you in a Whole Foods. You're like, oh, shit. Yeah. And, and honestly, like I always say. If firstly anybody who has a personal beef, it's a good way to get on a guest list because I'll put you right on a guest list. Uh, but <laughs> start making up beef, folks. It, but if you're looking for just me, just look at his Twitter. That's all you need. If you're yeah, you can find a beef. If you're looking for me, you can find me at the nearest Whole Foods to the catch venue. Me outside, yeah, you Whole can Foods. catch me at Whole Foods. That's my catchphrase. That's going to make me the Doctor Phil Darling. Doctor Phil. All right. Well, so yeah, uh, we've been doing good with these episodes. We did a good job, kind of front loading. Yeah, um, surprisingly, impressively. Uh, but let's catch up because it's about to be summertime. 
I'm sweating my ass off. I know. A lot of big stuff happened in the summer. What do we got? Well, first. Shows. Shows. A lot of shows. But the end. What's, the, what's over? The train's coming to the end. What, of, of what? Backtrack. Oh. Salute. I'm using my left hand. In stolen the, valor. The stolen valor. I'm using my <laughs> I just, just my free hand. No disrespect to backtrack. Um, so this is kind of a big deal. Hardcore veterans. Yeah, this is them retiring from military service. Uh, so what do we think? I'm, I'm really outside of this because I wasn't a fan until this last record. So I have nothing to Which say. Which is crazy because all of those records are very kind of, there's, there's a linear. Sure, I could them. like any one of them. Right, yes, but, but, I, but I like You this gave last this one more of a chance. I did, probably, yeah. yeah. Same, same with uh, uh, No Warning. Uh, I yeah, like both sure. these efforts. I think that they're pretty f- fully realized. Sure. So backtrack's breaking up. Tom, you, you probably are the closest to this band of the three of us. Yeah. I'd say I mean, almost definitely. Yeah, I mean, I was able to watch them from demo to the end. Mm. You know, I think they were important to a lot of people. Absolutely. To a lot, a lot of people. And I think they sort of almost got lost in that shuffle. But I think they were way bigger and way more impactful on a, more people than I think people would give them give them. Um, credit for people take you for granted, man. That's I what it is. Be a They're a constant. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. And yeah. like, I feel like the, you know, okay, it's not like a fucking last Bane show, mm-hmm. but like to a lot of people, it is. And I think, you know, it's not going to be their. You know, they sold out their their last show in Brooklyn. Okay. Oh, already. At, yeah, yeah, in a couple, you know, a couple days. Yep. Mm-hmm. They're going to do like another, like a real, real deal last show on the island or whatever. But like, they're you know for. The non Banes of the world, they're one of the biggest hardcore bands in the last ten years. And I don't think that's even arguable. But I think 15. a lot of I think a lot of people wouldn't jump to it though. You know what I mean? And then I you see them on these name. festivals and shit, and they murder it. Sure. Yeah. No, and I think their name doesn't get checked because no, they weren't as big as Trapped Under Ice. Um, you know, maybe they weren't as big as Rotting Out, but they toured hard and consistently for, I mean. 10 years, right? Like, yeah, yeah, I think you know, they were 2008, 2008 yeah. to 2019. So, uh, big shout out to them. Uh, and I, you know, I don't think any of those dudes are going away. No, no, you know, the, they all have different things going on. Whether I heard they put, like to play shows, beach volleyball, labels. though. Only yeah. Vitala, okay. Yeah. He he sold that went west, but yeah, yeah what about Vitala? He's a Mets fan, right? He is a Mets fan somewhere in just a Dodgers, uh, he does go to Dodgers shirt. games. You know, is it okay for him to rep the Dodgers? I mean, NL team. Yeah, that's the problem. Because when, when I moved to LA, I'd go to Dodgers games, but exactly. there's no You're conflict there. Yeah. yeah. If you yeah. if he was going to the if he was going to the Big A, <laughs> it's true. Mm. I mean, he's also a Tigers guy, which I, I'm not that upset by him. No, being a Tigers that's all right. Fan. If you're a Mets guy. And you go AL and go Tigers. I'm yeah. all right with that. Yeah. How, many, how many teams do you think it's reasonable to follow? Because I, I don't in baseball. But you, but I, well, I was gonna like s- to be ex- like to back or like to follow. Hold on, actually, let's do both. Okay, because Le- I or let's do both. NFL. I feel like Vital will appreciate this as being part of the backtrack. Yes, yeah. I, I want to. Let's start someplace else. NFL, a thing that I know much less about. Okay. Now. There's people like my father that just like sports because there's something moving. Yes. You know what I mean? He'll yep. watch NASCAR. He doesn't give a fuck. It's like watching a fucking aquarium. Right. So he'll watch any team, basketball, mm-hmm. baseball, football. Yep. You have to be terrible for him not to watch it. To turn it, it off. Right. Yeah. So uh, there's those people. Mm-hmm. But football, what are you allowed? You're allowed your team. And then when your team is out, you're allowed uh, a playoff team? Um, a l- maybe, a, a, yeah. maybe a second. You can have a fondness. Okay. For me... Uh, I'm a Denver Broncos fan mm-hmm. since birth. I have a fondness for the Rams. Okay. I love their jerseys. Eric Dickerson. Sure. Oh, so cool. <laughs> um, and then I have neutral feelings on a lot of teams. And then I have a handful of teams I dislike. And some of the dislikes have moved to neutral. Sure. You know, um, but you can't, you can't have, I think the NFL is one of the hardest spots to have. You can't have like two teams. That's kind of really why like. I asked because it, because the games are infrequent. You, you, there's so S- sixteen yeah. games. There's not as much of a division between. They like play each other. AFC yeah. NFC as there is AL NL. So it's you kind of pick true. a team. Um, baseball, I think it's really acceptable to have your primary, mm-hmm. and then you go to the other league yep. for a secondary. Mm-hmm. And you know it might be weird. How do you feel about this? Would you be okay with a Yankees fan who has a Mets as their secondary? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. You can't do that shit. Can't do that. Not Fuck New York. No. No. no way. Yeah, not New York. I'm probably, but the Yankees at any time unless they're playing the Phillies. 
Okay, hold or on. The Nationals. Hold on. Yeah. What about oh, what about if you're just a baseball freak like my father, who's a lifetime Yankee guy, mm-hmm. but. 86 Mets obviously he's excited he enjoyed. Yeah. well there's Was appreciation of there's an appreciation because the Yankees were such a they were so bad for the 80s yeah. Yeah. and he had to, he probably just respected the greatness it, you know? well it had more to do with exactly like giant personalities like on oh, the, yeah like for example would it be acceptable for uh, somebody with a real beef against the team to watch to, to watch like pool holes like to just be like oh i i have to like yes i, I, need no, to I think that's this. totally fine you know what i mean like so so like mike yes. trout i'm right, not right. an angels oh. fan but god almighty gotta right. watch a guy yeah like so, so that sort of thing i think is i think appreciation of greatness baseball it's totally acceptable to have a primary and then a secondary team in the other league mm. with few exceptions i'd feel weird if somebody was a cubs fan but it was like oh the white Sox, you know like there's can't even wish them well you no. can be you <laughs> I feel like I think there's Chicago, certain inner there's city things. to it. But I, here's the deal. I think that Yankees fans largely see well, it's a no. little, they're dismissive of Mets fans, but they but they don't it's not there's not the but, uh, animosity that they have. There's for, not the animosity like not the Red Sox. Uh, right. and, but it's close. It's, I can't tell you how many times I've seen fights between Mets and Yankees fans at these yeah. like Subway series and shit. Subway series are fun. I feel like they're fun. Mets Yankees <laughs> White Sox, Cubs, it's almost like the fuck, you know, like yeah. the soccer teams in or the football teams in like the Rangers versus the fucking Celtic. You yeah. know what I mean? Like it's almost like Yeah. It's stratified in a way that it's not just like I like this team. It's like I'm from the fucking south side, you're some rich fucking snob from the north side. Yeah. So it's different. Remember when the White Sox were really good? Yeah. yeah. It was a cool cool couple of years. Cool couple of years. Back I really liked when the Blue Jays were really good. I don't know why. It just hit at the right time for me. Uh, you were watching Drake on, no, uh, on well, YouTube right there? F- on cycle as he's Draymond's yelling at him. <laughs> well, did you see, uh, just a funny thing, so he's dressed, he's a we're great talking about, We're talking about Drake now? Yes. If you watch amazing. this video. So he is at the Warriors uh, Raptors, Raptors game, right? He's yep. a Raptors fan because he's from Toronto, obviously. From the he's wearing... Um, Del, Cur- Curry. D- Del Curry's jersey from when he played with Toronto. <laughs> Steph Curry's father. Steph Curry's yeah, yeah, father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's like trolling the shit out of it. Yeah. By the way, it's an autographed jersey on the back of it, it's autographed. How could it not be? Yeah. And he's wearing like a weird like armband. Yeah. Like a so he looks like such a dork. Like you're like, dude, you're dressed to play and you're standing on the sidelines. Yes. But it's only because he actually has Steph Curry and Kevin Durant's numbers tattooed on him and he needed to cover them. <laughs> I read some article that, like this dude is such a herb. Yes. It was on but, like the ringer. But, it was like yes. on some sports thing. Like this guy it says is like such curry. A corn- it says something under Curry's number, like sh- shot, and then the other one says sniper. Yeah. But, it's like, but, oh my God. but here's the thing, isn't that I think that's great. That's like me listening to a band that I that hates me. Like I you love are that like sort Drake, of shit. You're right. Like, I'm right. Like, but like, I'm could you imagine like all right, you go to a show and you have the band that hates you shirt on and you're like, fuck, gotta turn it inside out. Or I have to wear a sweatshirt even though it's 112 degrees. That's what it is. Yeah. Like you're like, you're and, a, you're and let me put on this other shirt that's clowning on them. Right. I don't know. I like it, man. I, I'm so, a troll. So I, the I like NBA, Drake as the troll better than his music. Yeah, that's true. NBA is the sport where you're the most acceptable agnostic. Yeah, because you're following because you're celebrities following, well, well, some of that, but also you can kind of follow the teams and they go good and bad and there's it's easy to root for. There are some diehard fan bases, mm. obviously, but yeah. I, I'm a I'm But a you want to see superstars. Like, I, I, I want to see greatness is what it is. Right. I think Jordan, I, I think Bird, Magic, Jordan, Kobe, Braun taught everybody appreciate greatness. A, a, a lifetime so Knicks fan that I worked with mm-hmm. went to a game to oh, see Elijah. LeBron yep. and when he it was like one of the games that he sat out I guess like yeah. one of the, oh. and, and, and this lifetime Knicks fan was going to burn the garden down like was so yep. fucking mad that his team his <sighs> bum ass team so bad had to play and not, he didn't get to witness LeBron crush his own team. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, You're not talking about Lou, Lou Tang, right? No, but that's he's a great got, guess. Yes, he's he, a hostile fucking Knicks fan. He's as well. got, yeah, he, he, he has season tickets. Yep. He had him with his cousin. Yep. His cousin stopped going, but he now Lou pays for both because he doesn't want anyone sitting next to him. Oh, Fuck. that's a move. And he I goes, yo, tell that. Patrick it was awesome seeing him in Las Vegas. Oh. I go, I can't tell if you're being sarcastic because he's a fucking weirdo. He goes, no, he blew me off. <laughs> he was there with Refused and the Vines or the Hives or whatever the fuck. The yeah. Hives. I, and oh, he's like, I didn't buddy see Lou, him. not Patrick. He wasn't hanging out with the Vines or the. <laughs> no, my buddy Lou was working for them oh, and no. he played punk rock bowling. And, and he was like, it would tell him it was great to hang out with him. And I, I was like, this is probably him being sarcastic. It is. I, I, I love Lou, but I felt overwhelmed. There's too many people going on at that. And it was like, 
it yeah, it was set up in a weird way to be punished, not by Lou obviously, but no. like but like for, when I when I was interact, there was a lot of people to interact with that were in too good a mood. Does that make any sense? Like when you're overstimulated, just, I was overstimulated for sure. I get it. You could have been like, meet me at like fucking Ronald's. Don't yeah, it was totally, it totally dickhead should have mean. Yo, that. why did you walk around Vegas? What were you doing? Uh, Trying to get shot. Okay, I uh, I was at a house with no Wi-Fi, so that's oh. a non, that's a non-starter. Uh, How does that, that exists. Okay, so here's the deal. Yo, you get in a lot of trouble for dissing places you stay on tours, so keep it polite. No, no, no. Th- look, th- I'm grateful as fuck. Th- this is a a friend uh, okay. who's been supportive of, of the of my endeavors for a long time. Okay. Uh, but when you are a very pretty girl, you don't need Wi-Fi apparently because you're not like me. That's like, oh, I've got to argue with some guy on Twitter you're not and then a gargoyle over yeah, your fucking right, yeah. Right. Okay. So when you're just that a good-looking woman, you're like, I'm going out. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going outside. Like, I've, I've got unlimited Wi-Fi on my phone or unlimited uh, data on my phone. Why sure, the fuck fair. would I have Wi-Fi? I don't even own a computer. She doesn't True. own a computer. Yeah, I mean, yeah. welcome to the future. Computers right. are going away. So. Uh, so anyway, so I stayed at her place, no Wi-Fi, so that means, fuck, I'm, I gotta get the fuck out of here. So I walked to Whole Foods every day, uh, and it, I was grateful that it was one of those occasions in Vegas that wasn't a billion degrees. A Painful. billion degrees, yeah. yeah. But here's what I got into. I got into walking around Vegas because nobody else does. The That's only true. other people that do are in desperate situations. So... It as was you. Yeah, as, yeah, as, as well I mean, that. Exactly. When so, I was in Vegas for Summer League last summer, I walked to go pick up... I, first, I stayed near... The UNLV, uh, the, the where the Thomas arena. Thomas Mac. Yes, Thomas Mac. I was right there, which is right near the airport. So I'm like, oh, I can walk. And I realized, oh, I can't no, walk. No, it's can't, not a walkable city. No. no. So I was like, all right, grabbed an Uber. Then I was like, oh, I gotta go get this rental car. It's on the other side of town. I'll grab an Uber. Did that, but the rental car place I went to sucked. Mm. So then I was like, all right, I'm gonna just leave. And then I had to walk like three miles to the next rental car. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I did. Yep. But it was pretty hot. I walked a total of about twenty five. So, so Damn. Uh, and here's the deal: I Your saw steps. shit. I saw shit I'm not supposed to see. Uh, I'm sure. Like outside of like the per- like, there's a certain perimeter oh. around Vegas, and it's like okay. So our Vegas friends can confirm this or not. A friend that used to work for the highway uh, patrol as the dispatcher was telling me, yeah, uh, Northeast Vegas is where we intentionally funnel all the crime. Right. Like so. So the way yes. that the way that that city works is keep it off the strip, my dudes. You know what I mean? Like, like, like do whatever the fuck yeah, you want. Whatever, just do it out there. Right. You can't so, fight in here. You can fight outside. Right. Wow. So, so uh, nor- northeast Vegas is the impoverished area. And I got off one of my connecting bus trips, got off there and I had like a 10 minute wait for another bus. And nope. I just said, you know, Why not? Well, let's, let's see what's up. And I. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to those of you that might live in North Vegas. I saw a type of poverty that I don't get to see in the Northeast United States. Uh, yeah. It was uh, uh, what we call discouraging. Uh, I went to a few thrift stores up there, mm-hmm. drove through a few neighborhoods. Yeah, it's a different thing. Different thing. Uh, also, uh, and people can correct me. Hit, hit us with corrections if you don't like this. Hit us at the email that Patrick won't read. <laughs> yeah, yeah, precisely right. Um Daylight, obviously not a problem. I'm a grown man. You know what I mean? Like it's yeah. it's it's, yeah, it's it, up for debate. But uh, sure. Yeah, sure. 125 yeah. pounds and lighter. He's got you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Right. Um, uh, uh, nighttime. Uh, it's the right this, time. This might have been a weird a weird space to be in because there was n- the streets are wide, which is weird to people from the northeast, right? right? Northeast yep. uh, of the United States, uh, and so wide streets. Empty ish, pretty empty. But but when you come across someone else, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you come across somebody else, they they, they, they uh, uh, big visibility. They might be they busy see doing you something. and you see them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, uh, but I did like it a lot. I mean, it, visually, it's dynamic. It just happens to be really obviously impossible. Solo life, I could live in Vegas. Oh my god, yeah. the, the girl that I stayed with, she bought a house at twenty four. She's a vet. She, what are we talking about? Like, you know what I mean? Like, you, you can buy. I talked to somebody today that was like, "Oh yeah, my ex just left. Uh, my my when my ex left me, he bought a home in Vegas like the next week just because he can." You know what I mean? Vegas. <laughs> let's let's all go. They're they're afraid they're gonna run out of water now though. I believe that. I wonder. They might be. So yes, backtrack. Backtrack. <laughs> so shout out to them. They're um, doing a, a run through the U.S. Vital will have his glove if you want to have a catch with them outside the game outside the shows. <laughs> God, he said it. People should do that. People should really do that. Is he a have a catch or a play catch? 
We should find out. I think he's a have a catch guy. Weird. Um, I think that's right. It's not play catch. You're not playing. You're having a catch. I always play catch, but you know I what? Catch. I never went to. I never went to the majors. So maybe. What do I know? He's playing beach volleyball. The, I've had I'm, catches with him outside of game, outside of shows. Yeah, you played before. some catch. All right. We brought a football. We, had, and, <laughs> you we brought a football on end of year tour. It was great. Yeah, kept us uh, entertained for a while. Right? Did you have not a catch so much with Patrick. the football? Or did you play a game? That's I think different. We, here's think the thing. Here's catch. the thing I want to throw out there. Do not buy low quality frisbees. You can't be supporting <laughs> industries like that. Like yeah. a frisbee is already a plastic object that's going to end up in an ocean someday anyway. Mm-hmm. You might as well get the high quality one. That's what the good I, plastic. What, I, was drug drug church going to make some fucking frisbee? No, they bought a frisbee. Like drug church bought a frisbee on tour, and I was like, I'm not touching that thing. It's beneath me. Give me a real fucking frisbee. I need it. For, what's for, a real frisbee? Like, you got to be waiting brand? for competition. Is frisbee a brand? I don't think it is anymore. It's actually. not. No. no. It, like a flying disc. It's a fly- it's like what's it like? It's like not a band aid. Like it's yeah. a band aid. Yeah, 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 Do yeah. you have pro discs? Uh, for which purpose? I I have lost my frisbee golf discs. Yes. Uh, over the years. Oh my god. My, that, you weren't picking those up today. My ultimate frisbee. No, I did not. My ultimate frisbee uh, disc. Uh, should be maybe at my mother's house somewhere, okay. but we'll, we'll get that. Frisbee. Ultimate frisbee's fun as shit. Yeah, I haven't played ultimate frisbee. Oh my long. god. Fun as shit. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about some shows where you can fucking play Revenge fucking, of the Nerds. Shout, out to, Holy fuck. shout out to Backtrack. Where playing you can frisbee. play catch and or have a catch as you choose. Uh, yes. Uh, I'm going to text Vitalo right now. Ask, ask him right him. now, please. If he plays catch or if he has a catch. No, well, Do you has a catch? He might overthink it if you say that. You might say, "Can <laughs> you want to throw a ball around? And he'll say, have a catch. Bring you your, mitt. Bring your uh-huh. mitt. So find Bring your to- mitt and yes. blank catch. Yes. Fill in the blank. Um, we're going to go through all the summer happenings. Yo, it's a crazy ass summer. Thank Church, God, man. Let's th- we didn't look for any of your shit. You doing yep. anything this summer? Uh, Self Defense is doing three big shows. Is the idea? Where? Uh, well, I don't want to reveal it yet. Also, uh, 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 <laughs> well, I want to get. I want to lock in the okay. support acts. But, okay, yeah, but, yeah. But the. Yeah. Uh, but it's good shit. Le- well, let me say this: it was good shit until a fucking exciting, massive show got announced the, the same oh, fucking yeah. weekend, Oops. which uh, is not good. That means that I have to go to an emo fucking band mm. for support because mm. now one of the fucking hottest hardcore bands is playing the same this region, big the thing. same, you know, so whatever. Yeah. But anyway, point is, uh, it looks like Self-Defense might do three big shows for the purpose of a live record. Nice. Uh, f- fake shit nice. wins, but not tonight. Yeah. A- and the the uh, uh, Drug Church is doing... When's the egg show? Uh, the, the Thursday night? It, is, it is time to play the egg. It is time the to Linda. play the egg. Are you familiar with the yes. Linda? So, <clears throat> I want you to play the actual theater. Yo. Like with seated auditorium style where you go see like the fucking fourth rate opera. Real, qu- talk again. real quick. When we yeah. talked about uh, update on Suicide Watch, real quick. I just, oh. uh, I moved in. Uh, I'm moving my stuff from my apartment that I had with my former, former girlfriend yes. uh, today Moving that stuff to my mother's like a fucking divorcee, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like a recent divorcee. But I don't actually live there because there's no space to live there because right. Uncle Jerry's, Jerry's dying downstairs. But he's still there. He's, he's still, still there. He's kicking. Okay. No, shout out to Uncle Jerry. But I'm picturing Uncle Jerry in like an unfinished basement. You guys have a finished basement. Uh, it's a nice basement. It's I a nice it's basement. A, it's dude, almost like its own apartment. Dude, imagine being in a nice basement solo. No, I can't. Are you in Schenectady? I can't. Dude, a lot of basement apartments connected in New York. <laughs> but, but here's the deal. So I don't live anywhere because there's Destiny's no place to fulfilled. live, right? So uh, uh, me, tr- I was like, oh, let's do as many shows as possible so I don't have to pay rent until right. the end right. of the year. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, uh, have we announced? I mean, the... the uh, I I can't announce the drug church thing, but drug church is going out with a popular oh, hardcore in fall. band. Yeah, you got fall. some cool stuff that's um, not announced, but that's okay. gonna be cool. So we'll be able to talk about one of the shows that were that is happening on that run. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's getting about. announced two weeks from okay. our recording date right now. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, so uh, the the short answer is uh, doing staying busy festivals. Um, and doing drug church is doing those two Alexis on fire shows, yep. which we can talk about in the non core episode, what, what that's sure, all about. Sure. Uh, but the, uh, uh, yeah, so it's spotty until fall and then fall. It's like a ton of shit. What's the, the current, there's a, is there some sort of, uh, what's it? The co-op in Albany, uh, honest weight, honest I was there this morning. I heard there's been some controversy. Oh, is it like every co-op controversy where it turns out that the guy that runs this shit is driving a Lambo? I think it's your buddy Nick. You got to ask him about it. What do you, what I saw you him say? going off on Twitter about it. Oh, shit. They wouldn't allow a dog in. He wouldn't allow a dog in in the cart, but they'd allow children, and he was protesting that shit because 
children shit their pants more than a dog would shit their cart. You know what? The, right. the pug that I forced my mother to adopt. This is, is what uh, happens when you're in the capital district for too long, buddy. I, uh, the pug that I forced my mother to adopt. Yes. Shit in that exact co-op. <laughs> <laughs> and so they, you are the reason. And, root cause. And they are banned. The do, the dog who has, and your mom who has three names is banned from from that spot. Not your mom. But uh, presumably not my mom. What's the dog's name? Isaiah Russell Patrick. No. So we the dog came to us as Erpy. Yeah, something stupid. And uh, we always called her Kaylee, right? And then uh, then um, my aunt just thought she looked like Leona Helmsley and just mm-hmm. started calling her Leona. And now so the dog sort of responds. But Uncle Jerry just calls her Maggie. So like, what it, the, the yeah, fuck happens at your house? I love it. I mean, it, it's a, the dog is basically like a dumb cat. So like, it's not like the name really matters. You can just like give the. Is that the synonym for cat, dogs? Is dumb cat? Dumb cat. <laughs> All right. Um, but so anyway. let's get back to the summer calendar. Yeah, summer calendar. Right now, full of hell, gent and side packed, and primitive man are finishing up a U.S. tour. Okay. That goes till June fourteenth. Check that shit out. It's hot. Full Hell new LP. People seem like they're freaking out about selling it. out venues across the uh, the Rust Belt. Yeah, they Did really you say are. California. Yeah, oh yeah, big shows. Mm-hmm. The cover art is not as good as the last cover art. No, and same Ma- artist. And it's yeah. So so here's the deal. Mark Martin McCoy is in his uh, Jake Bannon bag where where Jake had like a like Face. A, a thing. Yeah, yeah. and uh, McCoy is doing all he- all pro- uh, what do you call them like Portrait. profiles portraits. Yeah, thank you and. Some of them are exceptional, mm-hmm. and the problem is that Full of Hell's prior one was exceptional. Is iconic. It's a great, great looking album cover. This one is fine, but if you look at the album art, like uh, the interiors, the interior art is actually way, way cool. Amazing. Way it's the cooler. last one with the the, the burning, nun with the burning, burning face. Nun, yeah, it's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Um, so anyway, it's my only complaint about that shit. Next weekend, Modern Life is War, doing a weekend in. New York, the Shore, Philly area, and a couple gigs in Boston. Modern Life is War, Crime Watch, Druids. And What's uh, Druids about? I don't know. I think it's one of the dudes from Modern Life is War, Project Band from Iowa. Okay. Something like that, right. I think. I've asked a couple times because mm. Druids made me curious. Yeah, sure. You know? um, Vidal has a catch. He doesn't play catch. Really? Mm. Mm. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Yeah. Mets fans. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... New York is not a speaking English. What can you do? Mm-hmm. Um, you are playing though when you do it. Certainly, you're playing. But it's too far. I also don't know having. Uh, how, can you possess it really? Have a chip. Yeah. Those are good chips. You having a laugh? Are you possessing the laugh? I don't know if I. Are you laugh. having a good time? I'm laughing. Are you playing? I'm not a good having time? a laugh. I've never had a laugh. I'm you laughing. Don't, you don't speak the the British. No, I suppose Why? not. The king's tongue. Uh, so that's that weekend. Uh, Modern Life is War. It's got some other stuff coming up later that's not out for public consumption. But okay. this is a nice one. Okay. Uh, a nice mix up. That you know, I don't. Crime Watch with Modern Life is War is a, a mixer. A one step closer is on the Asbury Park show. Kind of cool. That's cool. Um, f- full U.S. tour. This is the big shit. Culture abuse. Tony Molina, Young Gov, and Dare. From June 6th to July 6th. Wow. It's a long one. How we feel about that? That's a crazy lineup. It's a cool mix-up. Mix bag. Non-core. Yeah. I, I, so I can't speak on Tony. Some people love this guy. Other people uh, tell me it's not as exciting as it should be. I don't I don't understand that whole world. Like there's a kind of a, like Alex G. You know what I mean? Like yeah. shit like this. Some people ride for Alex G. Like right. It's nobody's business. And I'm sure Tony all this shit first, could be great. I don't know. First LP, uh, Distant Dismissed, which I think is an intentional breakdown reference, mm. is cool. Um, and I've gone to listen to his next record and haven't stuck with it. It's cool. Um, this tour seems like a mixed bag, and I think there's different regional support acts. Uh, it's cool. I'm surprised because... I would have expected culture abuse to be doing like a bigger support tour. I mean, it's possible they got one lined up, but like yeah, that's it, true. the uh, they just did who they go out with uh, like beaches or waves or uh, fossil heads or whatever whatever, or, whatever the fuck yeah, this nonsense them, yeah. is. But but th- that's, House waves. That, that sort of shit. Like uh, uh, they did that, and now this is probably their headliner uh, to like capitalize on any energy that 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 gave them. All right. uh, so should be cool. Nails, Misery Index Tour, Midwest and East Coast, June 7th through the 16th. Is oh. this big? 
I mean, Nails doesn't over tour. So nope. this, this, uh, I think if you want to see Nails, you see Nails when they come through. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know any of the openers, so I can't really speak to it. <laughs> the openers are kind of like death metal. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is Misery Index? I thought it was Grind. Is it not? Yeah. I don't keep well, up with any yeah, of Well, yeah. But then the, the they have two openers on the tour. Uh, I, Devourment? It, they're not on it anymore. Oh. They oh. dropped. Um, <laughs> is... That's one less man I know. <laughs> yeah. Is um, is Nails as far away from hardcore as they've ever been before? Yes. Oh. So let's talk about that real quick, actually. The... And is that a good thing? Yeah, definitely. Why not? But sure. but, but the the new nails that I heard, uh-huh. those are big room nail songs. Uh-huh. Uh, and I was telling Taylor from the band that, and he says, "No, nah, you're just sleeping." We had a couple of those on the last record too, and that's what everybody confirmed for me that there was definitely that. Yeah, big. There was cu- like there's the fast blast beat songs, and then there are a couple more to to my ear more traditional metal, right? And uh-huh. Uh, that's what I think both the songs that I've heard from those new nails. That's, yeah. That's what they are. And that shit is catchy. Like that's the, 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 no, I mean, it's a weird thing to say that nails is a catchy band. Yeah. I don't know if they, I don't know if Todd wants that, but whatever. I mean, I, but he, he does want to write, I mean, he wants to write brutal music that sticks in your head. So I think that's not a diss. Um, I'm curious. I'm curious to see what the crowds would be like at these shows. Because I, they've always kind of pulled in punk kids, metal kids, hardcore kids. And I'm curious to see if there's truncated like attendance. Um, I don't think there will be. It looks like they're playing big rooms and they're doing it the right way. As noted, I think it's like a 10 show tour yeah. from like Chicago to North Carolina hitting the Northeast. So it's going to be interesting. Speaking of having a catch. Yes, okay. Backtrack. Final East Coast tour from June 8th to the 28th with Rule Them All and Dead Heat. Those are cool shows. Yeah. Those are cool shows. I I, uh, ran into uh, John from uh, Rule Them All the other day, and he tells me that the the new material is going to be... Like, if you remember that release uh which uh, are we calling that a demo it's not it's a seven inch right alignment of polarity yeah it's a 12 inch Um, ep so uh there was some really focused stuff and then there was a couple like maybe Mm -hmm. at least a song that was not in the model of the rest of the songs and he said now we're just getting weird no no we're just mainlining this we're like we're we're tightening it up so that it's like uh the thing that we actually want it to be instead of throwing around ideas that are it's good not in line with that uh so i'm excited for that because i think rule them all is like maybe low-key one of the better acts that we talk about oh 100 and and do it live yeah i think so too do it live do it live so did you uh, talk about comics we did yeah did you talk about a zine that I gave you? Know, you? Yes. And, uh, it, and you know what else we talked about? We talked about the dude. Shout out to him. Uh, in Long Island, you forget that there's... Uh, Two counties? Yeah, you forget <laughs> that there's You forget that there's a, uh, a, a, a working class that is doing shit like oyster harvesting. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and, and sound. And yeah. that's yeah. who comes to a drug church. Oysters, clams, and cuckles. And, really? And so it was... It was that was the crowd, and I, you know, John and I were just talking. And oh, like, your headliner? Yeah, uh, the headliner. The headliner. You, know, you that heard of that? At the uh, Amnesty International out there. Amnesty. I, I, I wanted to fucking uppercut him in the dick so hard. Which one? You, the Amnesty? No, when you kept. You really well, can't say it. I can't say it at all. Up, can't say it at all. The whole, like, the headliners, the headliners. I was like, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> what do you call them? I don't want to call them off day shows because. Uh, the, we're playing. We're playing. How about just the show we're playing in. I mean, the little I know shows. Movements we're aren't playing. Fucking out. The, 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 the little hold shows. On, hold on. Hold on. Let me let me provoke our listeners. The that, DIY that, that shows. think we're too pro core uh, positive. Uh, you mean our secondary, mo- our B market, our ter- uh, tertiary? You, you, you mean is you Amityville mean, tertiary? I don't know. I also, don't know. Speaking of John, shout out to his brother Mitch who mm. trains dogs. No shit mm. to kill. Mm. For the for some kind of armed force. Oh no shit! <laughs> yeah, no, we, what a, he's a great dude, Mitch. The next Rambo movie is a just First Blood remake, but it stars a dog. Oh, like a Disney. John sort of Wick thing. has fucking killer dogs in it. Mm, I haven't Number seen it. Three. Yet. I mean, you can see it. Have you seen pack. any of the John Wicks? I have. Oh not. yeah, no. Both, they're amazing. I, I heard, both they're of them amazing, are really fun. Yeah. Yeah. I heard the third is great. So. Yeah, they're I'm amazing sure fun. Yeah. <laughs> so go see John Wick three. 
before before you go to one of the last backtrack East Coast shows, yeah, these should be lit. I, I love the way they're doing it with Rule Them All and Dead Heat. Dead Heat, Dead Heat's been here. around for a minute, yeah, yeah. yeah but it's good. but but they they just dropped their first LP, which is almost all the way sold out. That's kind of sick. That's sick. So. One step closer. King Nine and Max Penn are on the uh, the New Brooklyn York show. show yeah. mm. How big is the Long Island show going to be? It's going to be a big show when Backtrack does. I think that. that I think that's part of the struggle is they don't know where to have it. Yeah, probably Amityville. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they can do it. They should week. play the they should play the gazebo in the public park in oh, a- Amityville, uh, Long Island. Ron Concoma Beach. Yeah, there you go. Gilgo. Ron Concoma. <laughs> That's how I say Skinadalies. Yes. Skinadalies. Yeah. We'll, we'll do it at Orient Point, folks. But interesting, that Skina- big Skinadalies and Skinadalies. That, that's how you two, say it, Two different right? places. Two different places. No, yeah, no. Yeah, okay. Do you say it's Skinadalies? Yeah, I believe that's accurate. Or did I fuck it up so bad? No, you no, said it right. You, no, no, it's no, become no, your thing. Yeah, no, I think, I think you're right. Yeah, I mean, skinny Atlas. Skinny Atlas. Skinny, skinny Atlas. Atlas. Skinny, skinny, skinny Atlas. Because it reads as Skinadalies. No, I think it's Skinny Atlas. Yeah, Skinny Atlas. A-T-L-E-S, yeah. It's like a weird... Weird. The Dutch names are really They should funny. do it at Gilgo Beach. It's a shout out to Sound Majority. Let's make sure. Yes. Right. Shout out to all the people that they found mm. dead there. Le- mm. Yeah, right. That was like a dr- dumping point for right. people. What, was it the, it's not, it wasn't the Rifkin murders, was it? No, it was mm. like recent. Mm-hmm. Okay. It yeah. might have been our Rifkin murder yeah. that they found, like, but like they were finding mm. women there. Mm. Gilgo. Killed by a serial killer. Mm. Tom, this is for you. I can think of very few people who are not from Long Island who I would feel could make the Long Island Hardcore Hall of Fame bands. Oh. Solid majority in, right? 100%. Yes. Millhouse or no, on the line? On the line. Um, For Long Island? Yeah. On that line. record's great, man. Okay. We're they gonna, didn't go anywhere. but We're putting great. them in. They're in this lower level. Yes. VOD in. 100%. Yeah. Who else? Uh, Older neglect. first. Let's neglect. neglect. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I have to. Crumb suckers. Yeah, have to. Crumb suckers. Oh, yeah, okay. Yep. To. Glass Shaw. Glass Shaw. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Taking Back Sunday. Yeah. Hardcore yeah. Jace. Right. Yep. Mind yep. Over no. Matter. They matter. Crime yep. and Stereo. Crime and Stereo, 100%. Mm-hmm. Mind Over Matter. Okay. Has to be in there. Mind Killer Over Matter. Idols. Mind Over Matter. Killer Idols, 100%. But there's kind of different tiers. Think of it like a pyramid. <sighs> but you know we're talking, I mean? uh, we said Hall of Fame, though. Does the Hall of Fame have different tiers? We're, we're making a good okay. Hall of Fame. But I mean, like, because think about Mind Over Matter is like. You know, Babe Ruth. Yeah, Babe Ruth's in the Hall of Fame, but so is fucking, you know. None of these other bands that we mentioned would have existed without. Yeah, I mean, that's true. So that's right. No, um, Killer Idols, Backtrack in the Hall of Fame, right? Yes. Certainly. Certainly, yeah. Yeah. Their their jersey's retired. Mm. It is. That's that's, that's what I want is at this show, Mm. uh, Scanlon, Vitalo, which whatever one of you fuckers do, we want the Long Island Hardcore Hall of Fame jerseys in the rafters mm. i want a fucking ceremony where you guys pull up the backtrack jersey yes maybe vitalo get, like gives a little speech beforehand People what's their number mm. um i feel like some of those dudes were wa- yeah that could be because i bet some of them were born then it's the last mets championship yeah, some of them are kind of wild that Seriously. it would be like 69 i there, bet uh, oh yeah, good yeah too. 69 is good uh, do, uh, eight you, six six nine when you hang it says 86 in text and then it's a 69 is the number when you hang uh, a jersey uh-huh do you do, do you hang a comically large version of the jersey? Yes, depends. Yes, depends on the team. Like certain teams, like storied teams, like the Lakers or mm-hmm. like the uh, Celtics, they just hang banners with a bunch of numbers. Okay, but then baseball teams or places, they'll put giant jersey. Yeah, you know, so with the name and number. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, that's six hundred feet away. Exactly, comically um, large. Jersey. So be, yeah, so we want so comic- Scanlon get the comically large jersey made, right, and hang that during the set. And I also want to be able to purchase a backtrack fathead at the show. Oh, not a bad idea. Ooh, not with a bad all idea. the members. Yeah, from over yeah, the years and you can too. pick it. Yeah, and that'll kind of be we'll we'll see who sells out first. Mm. You know what I mean? Oh, I like that. Yeah, Vitalo will sell out first. Our yeah, fa- but fa- you know I'm buying. But you know I'm buying a little Steve one, and that's not he's not a top tier member. Where is his hand? Little Steve's? Yeah. I know, it's crazy. What is that photo? It's it's, it's moving too quickly for the Odyssey. Have you ever seen is? him play drums? Is they that, disappear. Okay. Have you seen that? Drummer. Does everybody know what we're talking the about? The Trail Eyes cover? Yeah, yes. Welcome to Brick. Because well, he's throwing cover. the goddamn... The drumsticks, but yeah. I th- did they? I was like, I was like, did they edit this out for like a criminal proceedings? Because his hand is definitely missing. It just moves too quick. Yeah, okay. all right, fuck it. He's a left. You know, he's a, you know. Yeah. His left hand. <laughs> so shout out to Backtrack. I hope we talked about them enough. 
<laughs> Sorry for all the uh, yeah. extended interludes. <laughs> but I think they'd like their jersey oh, being retired. I they also should. think they, they are Long should. Island Hardcore Hall of Fame. Uh, give us some more feedback on that. Um, skipping ahead. Fury, Distort are doing a full U.S. tour. Starts next weekend, 6 9 to 6 30. Man, June came here real quick. Yes. Yeah. All these tours seemed like down the line. Yes. And they're all fucking here. Um, this is big. The Fury LP is big. Uh, it seems like people are enjoying it. Have you guys listened to it yet? Yes. Yes. I actually, I like it as much as I like Paramount, maybe more. No I shit. like it more than Paramount. Yeah. I like it more than Paramount for sure. Yeah. I think they stepped it up. I think, but they didn't, people were thinking they might pull a wild card and like, oh, it's going to sound like some, it's not weird, right? No. No. It, uh, it's the next it's, logical step. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. I, I, to my ear, it sounds like new age records that aren't corny. You know what I mean? Like that's what I it sounds like to me. Yeah. Like new age, new age. Like no disrespect to to the label at all. Put out some really fucking seminal releases. Absolutely. But if you listen to that stuff now, it it can feel trapped in amber. You know what I mean? Like production and then just style. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. But but uh, but this release, I I felt like had a lot of those new age elements without being totally well they I, I, I give them credit for pulling from the OC well and it's a deep well and yeah. a lot of different sounds in there. Um, we're going to revisit this Fury Distort thing in a minute. Okay. Um, just a quick mention because somebody hit us with it. Remo Drive and Slow, Fu- Slow Pulp are doing a full US tour okay. starting in June sometime. Those guys are adjacent to Drug Church, right? I don't know. I like Remo Williams' The Adventure Begins. is a great movie. Mm. I think this is kind of in the Some more racial problems in that pop part. punkish world, mm-hmm. but I think there are people who are excited about it. Mm. Jawbox reunion shows. First one is... June 14th, but they're hitting basically everywhere except the Southeast up until July 27th. Just a bunch of, you know, if you live near a major city, you can go see Jawbox. You care? Uh, I mean, I care enough to go. Yeah. Would you go? I would go. Do you care uh, enough to go? I, I like the Jawbox stuff. I don't care enough to go, I don't think. I mean, I saw them in the 90s. I'm good. Okay. Yeah. Were they, they play. were they good? Like... I was trying to see Fugazi. I didn't really get oh, that gosh. much. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and they played with Jawbox at one point. That I, at Jawbreaker, which uh, is confusing as fuck. Why would you do that? Yeah, that's but, true. Um, it's cool. I mean, I like some of it. But I mean, I I would be a poser if I said I like was a giant fan. No, it's hard to be a giant fan. I discovered them from our 92 listen through, really. Oh, you know? really? Yeah. So, like I had heard them once before. But that record we checked out, I was like, oh, this is good. And I've gone through the material a little okay. bit and enjoy Cause, it. Because the... the uh, w- w- what's the one... The big one? The big one. For your own special sweetheart? Yeah. Yes. The um, next, that's the one after. 95, the one did, yeah. right? Uh, that's got some undeniable alt hits on it. I mean, that song Savory it's is great. a fucking great. jam. Yes. Great. Um, and I think that people forget that the band was heavier than they remember. So yeah, I totally think. I mean, they could play shows with quicksand. It would make oh, sense. Oh, for sure. Yeah. sure. Yeah, and I think they got picked up in the post Nirvana. We need every punk band from every major. Yes. You know, how Jawbreaker, Jawbox. And do you think, is this the moment for them to do this? Uh, you can't go any longer than this. They're 50 year old men. Yeah, you know I mean? don't know. Uh, it's hard to say. I don't know. Do you know, I mean less about like them, but like in the wave of interest. Like if they're in the hard. zeitgeist. Right. Uh, I don't know that they are, tough. but I also don't know that it would come back either. You know? That's what, that's my point. I yeah. feel like they never were. Use it yeah, or lose I, it. You're right. Yeah. I don't know if there was ever like, if you motherfuckers don't come back right now, right. you're That's blowing right. it. Right. I think it's just like a stable kind of thing. Yeah. Whenever you come back. Yeah. Right. Like there was times that like, you know, would you, there was probably times that Jawbreaker would have been bigger to come back. Yes. I don't know. I mean, it was when, big. When they announced that people were really excited, but I think you might be right. There By might a have couple of years, bigger. there was a time yeah, when maybe, they were like maybe. the biggest fucking thing. They were. Um, it's hard to say. It's really hard to say. But with Jawbox, I think that you're probably right. There, there's a... Uh, People that like it like it, but it's not gaining a cult. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Advanced perspective, uh, kind of record labely thing. Yes, doing a summer exhibition on Saturday, June fifteenth in Chicago, hmm. featuring Fury and Distort, part of that tour. Line of Judah, Firewalker, Mill Spec, Narrowhead, Wildside, Vortex, Scourge, Result of Choice, Muscle Before Paradise, Best Wishes. Overload of natural energy, and then <laughs> uh, I think name. DJ sets by Poison Thorns, and you can yeah, stop happy there. House. But the, yeah, the, the uh, in Thorns. Chicago, Poison Thorn is that homeboy from Tiger Shot or Title Fight? Guitar player. Yeah. What, what is Jamie? Poison. No, Shane. Shane. Yes. What Poison is? Thorn, the DJ. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, then is it, it, it at, like it, the football stadium or whatever? Shy Town Football. 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 Uh. That's cool. That's too cool. Ma- too many acts for me. It's uh, sure, it's split but... up over 
like there's a Friday show with four bands, Saturday main show with, uh, you know, fly the fly was chaos. The flyers chaos. If it I has, remember correctly, it looked like a coded. rave one kind of. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> it, and it's, it's the cool. color coded. I mean, I think the Friday shows four bands. The Saturday shows probably seven. So it's not. There's no. Okay. There's no it's fifteen. A, and bands. it's in a soccer kind of it's a space. So indoor. Sports your feet space. won't hurt because the the you know fake yeah, grass gives sure. a little maybe has bleachers. A little give. Yeah. Maybe bleachers. Maybe bleachers. You're not packed in on top of each other. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, like where out, like Crudos did their reunions and. Shout out to Advanced Perspective. Uh, does cool stuff, but the that's a lot of bands for me. However, I do think that those are the well chosen bands because yeah. if you are into, let's say, hardcore, definitely mm-hmm. that doesn't suck and isn't tied too strongly to any specific mm-hmm. subculture subgenre of hardcore. Then that's your so like lane. like fastball down the middle hardcore. Yeah, but that's not. But you know what? That sounds like we're throwing like a lob down the. Oh, middle. exactly. We're not, not throwing trying. a lob no, down no. the middle. No, it's you know? fastball. Yeah, it's a fastball. fastball. Um, because good hardcore. Yeah, it's a very solid. Fastball. No, no, like no nothing that's pulling people too much outside of it though. Yeah, like in Chicago. You're probably missing any of the heavier dude element that can be big. I think you're missing probably dumb. heavier, and you're probably missing the basementist of the basement. Yes, you know absolutely. I mean? So right, because I mean Chicago has Karma and they have Chew. Right, that's so right. It's completely divergent. And then, and then whenever I'm in Chicago, there's people that tell me about a basement scene that is so basement that it, it, I believe I, it. I can't even. I believe you know, it. I can't now, how find many of those the bands are on Advanced Perspective? I think I, a couple of them time? released have least, released things. Advanced yeah, Perspective's yes. kind of like got a little like a niche. Got it. Industry thing. Um, it's cool. I'm curious about it being in Chicago. If I wasn't doing anything next weekend, I'd just go check it out. It Chicago's kind of a great fun. town. Great town, especially in the summer. The ripping his town. We got some friends we could stay with out there. Mm. Right. Maybe. Pat just spent the better part of the month dissing everywhere in the country except South Carolina. Like South Carolina. Didn't even see it on the store, yeah. but I like it. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's why you like it. You haven't spent <laughs> enough time there. All right. Uh, we got Tim, David, and Nick in Chicago. We could stay with them all. Okay. Chicago. That's cool. All right. I mean, I'm inviting us there. Oh, I'll I don't go know to if Chicago. they actually said we could. Uh, well, but fuck it. I'll go. We'll show up. We'll take a train to Come Canada. through. That would be a Greyhound. Look. Greyhound next week is uh, forty bucks. We can do forty bucks there, forty bucks back. Is that right? Why? Yeah. What? It's only twenty hours. <laughs> only. Yeah. Uh, uh, I want to be like our, the follow that we have that sent us the video of him, him uh, or her post up, posted up in the fucking tram track so with the closed is, door. Like this yeah. is a this is a packed episode, so I won't belabor us with with any uh, train stories. But Jesus Christ. Yep. Yeah, Fuck. I believe it. Train is this tiring, is my dude. Yo, man. I'll take, take it over a plane. I'll take it over a plane. You're fucking crazy with the radiation. I'll it's, take it over a plane. Yeah. All right, Rogan. All right, All right. what's next? Uh, speaking of the Carolinas, Columbia, South Carolina, Thursday, June 20th, Magnitude to Whatever Fateful End record release show with Fury, Distort, and Vision and Point of Contact. It's a good cool show. show. Maybe we just go down to that instead. Yeah. Of Where's Chicago, that one uh, Columbia. Okay, I, 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 listen, give me that shit. Give me, I like that shit. Maybe we'll get a timeshare in Myrtle Beach. Oh, I love it. Ooh, there you go. ooh, we could probably, yeah, let's, let's Airbnb one. Yo, Boom. Myrtle Beach. I got we'd nothing be the, what are we We'd doing? be the oldest dudes in Myrtle Beach you by, think ten, so? by 10 years. Myrtle Beach, look, the creepy He's not dudes, wrong, actually. The creepy right. dudes in Myrtle Beach They're are still younger than us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I worked with a dude in Texas who was from Myrtle Beach. I think he moved when he turned 26. Yeah, like, you got They got a 25 year old, like, that's it, you're out. Yeah, you got it. Um, this Fury tour hitting a lot of things. Yeah. Fiddlehead, Abuse of Power, Fury and Distort are doing a little mini thing in the middle of the Fury tour. Who headlines that? Honestly? Fiddlehead. Fury is listed. I think Fiddlehead should headline. Probably. F- Fiddlehead. I mean, you can't go wrong with either. Fiddlehead, and this has benefited self-defense. Fiddlehead is humble. You know what I mean? F- Fiddlehead sure. like will play under anybody. Well, because so, so like, I think they know they got that smoke. Yeah. They're like, yeah, we'll play before you and just... Crush. Yeah. yeah. Um, Good so attitude. Atlanta, Tampa, Miami. Perfect. Hell yeah. Mm. In and out. Very nice. That's it. Uh, I, everyone who has a chance to see Fiddlehead right now should go do that. And Abuse of Power is warming up for that LP. So we'll see how it all rolls. Mm. And they're uh, playing some shows too. Mm. Quick thing in the Midwest. Damn, see, June is stacked. Touche Amore Midwest with POS and True Love. Including cool. playing a festival in Michigan with the Breeders. And Drug Church. You're playing this? Yes. Hmm. You're going to let us know about that so we can schedule stuff around you, Dick? Or <laughs> Sorry, just, I saw I remember it. when I was like, hey, what you got? And he's like, I don't know. 
Uh, that's the festival. Festival. It's, a, it's a festival that I got. I don't know. Oh, okay. Fast uh, in June. I, Wet f- no. I don't want to sound three stacks. When I don't three remember. stacks. Yeah, three, th- is that what you're getting? Three stacks. We're getting three, everybody's three getting stacks. three stacks to play. It what, just it, depends on what the bills be, are. Right? Yeah. It's three dollars, three hundred dollars, three thousand dollars. Fifteen. He's getting fifteen. Yeah. He's in there. <laughs> three probably get yeah thirty. Um, it should be fun. Um, yeah, that, that's that sort of like very mixed bill sort it's of cool thing. Cool shit. It's Touche doing ten years of To the Beat of a Dead Horse. Mm. Are they psyched to revisit the old material? So um, I didn't want to ask them that because because <laughs> you're like hey uh, yeah because it's like uh, you don't want the answer yeah 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 uh you don't want them to have to be like not really but we're doing right. this because we have to but, or yeah we're totally psyched but i saw on i saw on uh J- jeremy from touche his uh one of his socials he was very forthcoming about it that he he had mixed feelings and then doing the uh shows with pianos uh where they played that material he they had fun he had fun yeah okay. uh and uh you know, th- th- that's awesome. Uh, f- for me, like that sort of stuff is always like kind of in the re- wrong kind that. in the rear view. Uh, but well, that's the point, right? Is personal decision. Like they can do that if they want. Right. You know what I mean? I'm not mad. Right. You would never. No. No, but we're doing the live record. It's we're setting up recording. <laughs> Sent. Uh, uh, we had a a what if about if one of the members of End of Year didn't quit. Yeah, it's a weird one. It was a weird one. I was yeah. like, what do you think? And the person responded, big shout out. It was wonderful. Several paragraph response of the hypothetical reality that would have existed after. Mm. I sent it to the members of the band who, whose contacts I have. Uh, and Patrick, conspicuously quiet. No sold it. Uh, no uh, sold. I mean, the band would have been broken up already by now if that was the case. Like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what that's what that's what the response was. Was yeah. see, I saved the band. There you go. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome for if have you considered punk music. There you go. All right. Uh, in cold blood, never ending game, face wreck, June twenty third in Tiffin, Ohio, Fuck at the Vida. What do you? Because I was what, like you Tiffin, just, Ohio. That was like a lot of things said really I know. quick. What? Ready? <laughs> yeah, in cold blood. In Tiffin, Ohio, aka halfway between Cleveland and Detroit, um, which is nowhere. I mean, I think it's also about halfway to Gary. You know, you, um, look, this is one of those times right? that I have to, uh, even if I, even if I had something negative to say, which okay. I don't, Never I ending wouldn't. Games playing, I would. Oh right, you know, too I mean, close to the bone. Too close to too people close that to got home. nothing to lose. Yeah. Right. It's, it's yeah, something when were. when Tiffin, Ohio is too close to home. Like no, I've never here, even heard of it. Here's what I'll say: like, no, like you'll you'll catch me popping off on places that got dangerous people, like Houston. But like that whole fucking like Scarface ain't coming for you, uh, right? Uh, but that uh, Michigan, Ohio, Ohio. I gotta mm. sometimes I, face tattoos. I, I, I gotta let it live. They were the OG face tattoos. I gotta let. Yeah, they really whoa, were. Yes, they were. were. Yeah, uh, yeah. I gotta let this one live. Um, I mean, that's I cool. Think that appeals to somebody. Oh, it, I oh, mean, honestly, not. I wouldn't go to Tiffin, but if it was playing nearby, I would go. Like if it was in your living room, you'd go. Yeah, I, mean, I, I if would, you had a living room, I would go six. Where miles would this to play it. in upstate New York? Um, Qe two currently nowhere. No, Good. no. Although Ohio, what town that would you put it Clevo. in to match the vibe? Oh, I thought you meant venues in upstate yeah, New no, York. Yeah, I know. Um, uh, Utica. No, Utica's <laughs> too nice. Utica's too nice for it. No. I mean, Utica is not too nice for anything. Um, you could put it in uh, Elmira. You could put it in Austin. Of course, you, anywhere you out it, west. Isn't yes. Austin nice? Austin is nice, but I'm going any place that has a prison economy. Yeah. So, right. so, yeah, so, yeah, so buddy yeah. Joe is in Austin, and it's quite nice. It, it, it is cold nice. Blood. Uh, they should send music like this to prisons for uh, people to listen to. What's, what's the city right outside, or the town right outside, right outside Attica? Um, any of those. Okay. Any Got of those. It. Not Thousand Islands. No, okay. not Skinny Atlas. Time and Pressure, a band from St. Louis, doing an East Coast tour. Hell yeah. End of June through early July. From St. Louis, their LP that I think is coming out sometime this summer is actually really fucking good. Mm. So we'll probably drop a track on our next listening party. Boop. What do you guys think about Warp Tour in Atlantic City, 629, 630? It's pretty wild. Fucking shock, <laughs> shock, drug church isn't playing. I know. I'll be festival. honest. I'm, th- uh, there's so we many, got ass. We just um, So you know. many things happening right now. Uh, we had a few headliners <laughs> of where we were the last uh, band who's playing. Yes, you might notice that we were the last band. That, we, that is called a headliner. Yes. It's our it's big a, stack. It's a position of esteem. Uh, we play... We headline, and then the breeders play after us at an after party. Correct. Right. Yeah, beat that cannonball. <laughs> Warp tour. 
What about three elevens playing? All right, I'm Chill. there. I'm there. Chill. Blink, uh, what else? Blink one eighty two. Is Blink playing? Quicksand. Quicksand's yeah. playing. I'm it's a very random that. show. It's I didn't. Even, oh, here it is. Sold out very quickly. Sounds like sounds like Snowcore nineteen ninety nine. It is <laughs> pretty much. So so the backstory I heard on all this was that Warp Tour was desperate to hit twenty five years oh. so they could qualify for Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Is that real? That's real. Okay. That's fucked up. So this is the 25th year? 25th year. 25 years. So that you'll never see from this again. Well, they're doing this one and one in California, LA. And then and there's one other one, I thought. Maybe. maybe well, I don't know if Riot Fest has Chicago and Denver on oh, lockdown. I think Denver's do. done. Riot is Denver Fest? done? It's only Chicago. Okay, there you go. Brooklyn had it once. I, I'm so over Denver that I, I can't describe it in words. Yeah, you're dis- You wouldn't Denver even do a headliner there, there huh? I... I mean, I'm gonna play. I'm sure I'll play it three more times this year. Yeah, what's the problem? I would get hit with a fucking ice ball. Let's hear it. Go they ahead. have the worst weather in the United States, bar none. That they have the most. That includes the what Gulf are you Coast. About? What are you talking well, about? Well, because it was snowing in April. Or it wasn't May. just snowing. It what, snows what, was randomly. Yeah. What, yeah, I'm not having. It's called it. elevation. Not having bro. it. Not having it. it. There's no way that you should be trapped in a city. We were literally trapped. So that what they <laughs> this is the second time this has happened in my life. Yeah, where, where trapped you, in worse places than Denver. Where you yeah, drive sure 30 can. miles outside of Denver and yeah, a guy stops you and goes, yeah, "Nah, around. dog," and, and you got to go. Because fuck that nonsense. You're driving on a highway that was only put in like. The, 35 years ago we're mapping we've mapped the human genome and sent somebody to space yeah, we can fucking yeah. figure out Denver. and we figured out to go yo motherfucker don't try to drive through the mountains just cause listen your dumb me. ass has gotten stuck on a greyhound listen in Vail listen and is kinda scared of it don't mean you gotta hate on it yeah, so, so actually hard. that makes it three times yes. that I've been fucked yes. by Denver fuck Denver listen I think you me. just say fuck the mountains you don't like elevation hey Mark if you hear this um, if you wanna find him in See, find me at the Whole Foods. I'm, I'm, yo, this is actually a rare occasion. I'm game for whatever comes. I don't give a fuck. Denver, you're not you, even guest listening in Denver. You're saying yeah, show up, roll up to the Whole Foods. I'll wait outside the show until we play. You ever been to Water got a problem. Cool spot in Denver. Not nah, fuck Denver. It's cool. I'm, I love I'm Denver. over Denver. Denver's a great spot. I like it. Two thirds in. All right. Um, let's see here. Mark, don't beat up Pat, please. You Thank you. I mean, knock me out so I don't got to endure Denver. I mean, Yo, you guys ready for July? We're going to move quick. Let's All right, do it. These. Incendiary product of New York shows at St. Vitus. That's the cool. residency. How the many shows? Residency. Three? Two. 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 That's cool. Um, All New York bands. Cool. Rule them all in perfect world. On oh, the cool. First show. Fuck yeah. That's great. Still suit and pass away on the second show. If I'm not on tour, I'll go to that. That's cool. Who is yeah. pass away? That's the only one I didn't know. I think, if I remember correctly, it's a dude from I Am the Avalanche. Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay. I believe it's like All his right. punk band. Or yeah, I mean, like those dudes like literally curated this whole thing themselves. And, cool. Um, it's, the it's like a Tuesday and a Wednesday or something. Mm-hmm. That's weird. That's right. Right before Fourth of July. Right. Because oh. I'm like smart move. Yeah. Well, July fifth is something happening mm-hmm. that most of the free world is going to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. So like, I, that's smart. They don't want to play against that. I guess a July fourth. Night show is a hard is a tough poll. I didn't. I, I bet it is. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. So they did. You know, I think it'll be cool. I think it was awesome that they picked those bands and super cool. I th- yeah. Again, same thing. Like like how we big up Backtrack for taking Rule Them All out. Yeah. What you're seeing, I think, are bands like Backtrack and Incendiary do the same thing that they saw. Like, yo, y- I don't think there were a lot of current bands around when they started in New York who showed them love, but dudes like you showed them love yep. and I think they're paying that forward and That's saying awesome. we this is who we want to be it's the bands who who put on for bands who are coming up so that's cool and I think anyone within the sound of my voice that is going to that show and if you haven't seen Still Suit you will are in for the ultimate surprise mm. like to this day still fucking incredible no shit dude where are those guys from Queens Queens there we go I, I believe so yeah Amazing. They were on Wreckage, and then they were on, um, they were on TVT. Yes, like TVT. Yes, that sounds right. Um, but like, they're. I think they're doing some more stuff. They may do some stuff that we'll mm. discuss in okay. a future yeah, episode. Yeah, sure. yeah we but, should schedule that up. Soon. Yeah, but that, I mean, like, just of that kind of Don Fury scene, mm-hmm. one of the best and incredibly underrated. Mm. So we keep teasing out that we're going to do record label deep dives and we're yeah. getting we're starting to hit the point where it's like, okay, we just got to buckle down and do yeah. it. I want to do a wreckage one because I think it's an interesting label that yeah. that doesn't get name checked in a way that it maybe should because it was sort of localized but also did a bunch of stuff that's still resonating now. I mean, it's, it's weird though. I think a lot of the, the new, the last stuff they put out was the stuff that really made it like 
made it out of New York. Yeah. Sound Majority. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and other bands. Like, you know. I, I think a very cool label that I'd, I agree. Do I, think it's, I think it's an interesting one. Sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, Have Hearts playing two shows, uh, one in, on Friday, ju- July 5th, and one on Saturday, July 6th. Um, there's going to be a lot of people there. I hope so. I hope so for their sake. I hope they didn't do all this for nothing. You know what I mean? It just, <laughs> I feel uh, bad all if they had a party and nobody came. Yeah, yeah you know what I mean? Uh, you see so those things up, on the yeah. YouTube. Like, yeah. It's a kid at like Pizza Hut and is only one of them. You know what I mean? I hope well, you know what? It's people like, show up. It's you know? going to be like Chuck E. Cheese and it's just animatronic robots. Happy birthday, mm. Pat Flynn. And there's only Pat sitting there by himself with a hat on. Like it's I told you my mother's theory on why I don't like birthdays. Is she going? No, she's going to have heart. Okay. Yes. Yeah, she, cool. Catch her, please. Don't let her she's break her, break her yeah. hip. Um, What'd she say? Why you don't like birthdays? Oh, shit. Is this going to be sad? Is it birthdays were the worst days? Uh, birthdays were the worst days. Don't tell me you had a party and you didn't no, know so, came. So I don't. So I don't like birthdays for whatever reason. I, like, I don't like make a big deal out of it. Yeah, I don't do it. Oh, uh, happy birthday to Trey. Okay, happy birthday to Trey. Three days ago when you hear this. Uh, happy birthday, Trey. But I, I don't I don't celebrate them in any real way. I go out yeah, for yeah. Indian, right? And yeah. the... the uh, I mean, that's a celebration. Yeah, that's true. I spend, yeah, spend the entire $18. But, Indian, yeah. but the... Uh, uh, Treat yourself. My mother believes that this is because as a child, I had a birthday at Chuck E. Cheese and I vomited in the uh, uh, cheese holes. Yep. Uh, and, oh. and so that means it's like just like... Because adults can't really get in there, so it's like a stinky vomit. Yeah, and like, then Firestorm started playing in your head, and that yeah, was it. That was it for me. Do you remember back in the day? Like we were, I wasn't allowed to go to Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, really? Because it was a big fucking rumor pre-internet, yep. obviously. Yeah. When I was a kid, that people were getting kidnapped from there. Yeah. <laughs> and like people would take you into the bathroom, shave your head, okay. and put Very- you in different clothes, and legitimately walk you past your parents. Yo, I that was the what thing- if that's the first memory you have of your mother or father? And yeah, like, remember that time you had to cut my hair to Chuck E. Cheese? It was weird. Yeah, why'd you shave my head? I that was it so just weird. grew out. I was four. No. Where did we live before that? I don't remember anything. If I didn't look exactly like my mom, you'd have me a little worried. But yeah, um, but that was like the whole thing. Yeah, I, there was a lot of shit popping off with, when John. Where Walsh was the was Chuck E. Cheese? Yeah. There was a couple Chuck E. Cheese, but there was a primary one. I mean, I had a birthday. There was party one there. opposite the opposite uh, Colony Center. I want to say that's right. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Sounds accurate. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Um. What the fuck were we just talking about? Uh, have heart. Have heart. Couple oh, the shows are going to be big. Uh, just as a thing, we're trying to make it so that there's walk-up tickets. Oh, really? Because we think there's going to be people who kind of are just like, oh, yeah, I'll roll. There's, I mean, always. theoretically, we could be sold out right now. I'm not. But we don't want to be because we want to enable as many people as want to go to go. Uh, here's what I would say. If you're one of those people that like when I was a kid, I'd be like, oh, go, I'll try to sneak in. Uh, if you're that type of person, Maybe go and now there's tickets. You don't got to sneak in. Yeah, 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 exactly. It's cool. And and like I'm I'm for all both for, or the, for the Saturday. No, Friday's way gone. You're yeah, not, I was gonna say I'm like, how are you fitting in another lock, human being? That's on fucking lockdown. Yeah. Um, but Saturday we we got you set, and it's gonna be it's gonna be very memorable. I'll it's going that. to be the biggest hardcore show in the history of hardcore. That's cool. That's my fucking. It's not. I don't even think it's a hot take. No. I don't know. Uh, well, uh, think the, about it, dude. The only thing I have for comparison like Dead is those Kennedy's early in like LA shows. Yeah, or the early LA shows. They weren't doing. I don't know. Some of those shows are fucking big. Sure. Only one of those that I could quantify the same. Um, Akulu and Illusion are doing a full U.S. tour. Akulusion. Seven dudes, one van, two bands. Akulusion. There is no Akulusion. That's a good good tour shirt, right? No Akulusion. Yo, so I don't know if I'll get another opportunity to talk about this. Yeah, we just, I think you just shut down Worst Possible Timeline. There you go. I don't know if we'll get another opportunity. Oh, the funnier podcast. (laughs) Uh, you're talking about my left one. It's not the music based. You're podcast. talking about the Forbes uh, article. Yes, we can talk about that. Um, Horse Man Alive <laughs> feature. Uh, <laughs> I still haven't read it. Um, oh, we did. Don't, so, don't don't try on a device. It's the worst website. Forbes fucking went to I'm, Aldi to make their website. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Uh, the only feedback I've gotten on that so far has been everybody hitting me, being like, "You look uh, like Green Lantern." Being like primary songwriter huh i'm like i'm like oh, <laughs> definitely not the primary I mean, and that songwriter photo legit anything. looks like you're like green lantern looks guardians of the galaxy yeah. it does yeah. no yeah. it looks star trek you star- look like yeah, that's fucking right. star that's trek. correct because but the- i said you should have a red shirt because the red shirts they die um wait a second uh, i don't know if i'll get an opportunity to talk about this otherwise uh the akulu seven inch is fucking awesome it's perfect I, the newest I, one. I, yes i think perfect. i honestly think akulu might be one of the 
better hardcore bands of the moment. Maybe top five going right now. They're very good live. The records are so perfect. They're really good. I can't wait for them to do more. A 12-inch. Of, yeah. Like a record with some length to it because I think they can pull it off. I think they can pull off six songs that work together. You as, know what I mean? as a friend of the podcast that said they have perfectly dialed in Guido Core. Like they, oh, they it, are it, such like a Lamore's nineteen ninety three oh, opening for Leeway, like yep. fucking perfect. Yeah. Um, that's a that's a good point. So, and then not to not to cause that. any strife between bands that we like. Oh boy! But then the question came: Is this better than Candy? And for me, I have to go in my Different. bag and really think about it. These are both great hardcore bands. Yo, they shout are. out to Cheddar, who's in both. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. why I mentioned yeah. it. But 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 the uh, that's why that's why I mean, better. I yeah, different, different energy. But you know what? That's a cool tour coming later down the line. I, I hope so. That's a fucking that's two of the a, two of the two best going. Cool. Yeah. Those are fucking a cool. Yo, shout fucking out, great. Shout out to New York City for for really yeah. popping some hardcore off right now. Um, Tom's gonna have to tell me off air if the old dudes fuck with the Kulu, but but uh, I I think they should. I think the old dudes. Know? I think you the, know everything. The old dudes I know fuck with the Kulu. Okay, yeah, hard. But it's weird because I feel like the older dudes that are like more in like that like floor punch lane. Yep. fuck with the Kulu. Yes. Well, I don't know if like the actual fan base that w- this would be perfect for L- don't may not even know the uh, Lamore, that's a good Lamore's point. crowd is all pipe fitting somewhere. Well, no, but I'm you saying like I mean? even like the New York hardcore Guido. Okay, yeah. You know, like that, like are still crying about like Castle Heights. I don't even know if they know about a cool. No, they we got to wise no, into it. But they yeah. got, they got to get with it. Wise up, you must. Got to get wise to the game. Straight up, I told yeah, Amanda. He went from bold. He went to twenty five. <laughs> I, I told Amanda that um, every morning when I wake up, the sound that plays in my head is the first five seconds of "Talk Is Cheap," which is. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Is that motivating or menacing? I don't know. Uh, it's both. It's my menacing it's delight. Bed. Sound and Fury 2019. I heard we that. haven't done any of these festival things. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, let's do them. Yo, the Sound and Fury lineup is fucking bulky. Do you guys want me to read it? What do you want me to do here? Fuck. It's it's crazy. Half Heart's yeah. playing it. Um, that sold it out. Bell of the Ball. Bell mm. of the Ball. It's... It's making, good enough. Imagine if he watched The Office, he would have laughed. He does. He, he did. You see, he on, smiled behind the on, microphone. I know. He's on season four. Imagine. He's like, oh, I've yeah, yeah, never seen know. it. Man, I love it. Sorry, until- I'm not watching your Big Bang Theory, fellas. My bad. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen an episode of Big Bang Theory. I have. You don't have to. You watch The Office. <laughs> they don't. T- wow. <laughs> so this was. Uh, this you watched. Uh, you watched The Office too. It was fine. Mm, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Prison Mike. Let's see this. Sound of Fury. Abuse of power, antagonize, basement, big takeover, criminal instinct, dare, dead heat, despise you, division of mind, distort, dominant force, drain, Akulu, fiddlehead, firewalker. Which of those are you most excited about? Uh, Akulu, I would sit through despise you uh, Mm -hmm. for the novelty because it's not my lane at all. Um, And uh, fiddlehead. Honestly, honestly, two bands that I don't need to see. I've already seen mm-hmm. Basement, but Basement and Despise You, put them on the same day. Let let, let me experience something. I was going to go Basement and Dead Heat. Basement is going to be a I'd really like cool change up. Drain to yeah. fuck yeah. Yeah, I think that would be cool because that show, that free LA show that I'm just, happened. I'm just pitting bands against each other. Let's yeah, do let's do Drain, thing? Dead Heat. It's head to head. I want to see it. Oh, like yeah. that drain Who's show got at it? that LA show was so, fucking bonkers. So yeah. I, we've seen, like, I think people have done the, like, band play a song, other band play a song. Mm-hmm. What I want is stage on one side of the room, stage on the other side of the room, band play song to song. Hellfest 2001 setup. Oh, but, oh. but, like, across oh. from each other? That's what it was. Yeah, okay. it was nice. oh, perfect. Okay. With a pit in I the middle. I call it perfect. Um, I need I like it to be that. not a giant room, though. I want it to be close enough that there can be people in the same pit. And basically, you're just turning <laughs> around. That would be dope. <laughs> that's dope as shit. Um, all right, well, here we go. We got call them two. Yes, you got. That's what's happening next fall. Frame of mind: Fury, Gem, Generation, Suicida, Suicida, Glitterer, Have Heart, Illusion, Incendiary, Inclination, Initiate, Crime Watch, Like It or Not, Little Ugly Mane, Line of Sight, Mind Force. And Most I, excited for. Holy didn't shit! Re- didn't realize Little Ugly Mane was on that. Um, well, that, he's doing a like a sideshow. Okay, it's not like on the main fest. Yeah. Um, Frame I mean, of mind clearly, I'm excited for from uh, the UK. I this believe. is the yep. toughest one to call, but you know who I'm most excited for? Tell me, Mind Force. Oh, sure, Force. their comeback for a show back. Yeah, Pretty sick. I mean, it, cool. I think Inclination's gonna be sick. Incendiary will be sick. Have heart clearly. Hearing theories that Inclination's new record is going to be really big for. I've heard this too. Stuff, yeah, yeah. I've heard this too. Yeah. That new record's um, great. So that's what I've heard. I love it. I've heard that. No, the one so, that's out already. Is it? Yeah, oh, yeah. there's yeah. a second one. Yeah, Wait EP or something. Very good. 
there was an oddball band on that, not Little Ugly Man. Could you give it to me again? Glitterer. Glitterer. Oh, Glitterer. Okay. New single? It's good. Let's talk about this. It's good. So our circles were very torn on Glitterer. Uh, I don't even know if it was torn. Most people I know didn't haters. like the early Glitterer shit. Haters. Yep. Uh, well, I, so, okay. So let, let, let me put it out like this. My group chats were haters. Mm-hmm. And then some of them saw it, right? And were won over. Because that's the experience you have watching Glitterer where you go, oh, no, no, no. And then you go like two songs and you're like, mm, he's kind of he's kind of owning it. And then and then as it goes on, you're like, I guess I'm in. You See, know to me, I mean? it's the opposite. Oh, okay. So... I uh, probably would like it on. I like like it recorded, but you don't need to see it live. Yeah, it, it's just too awkward for me. Did oh. you listen to the new track? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, the new track. Honestly, it's like it's night and day. Yeah, it's it's. I mean, like Wicca phase. Yep, I will listen to shit at no, home. But, but, I, but like watching it, like it just there's some weird dynamic that doesn't totally kill it. Okay, for me. new track. New track is full band, right? Is it? Or, or, or I assume he recorded oh, it everything himself, probably. All right, it, just because like the no? oh, the, the 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 like hold on, let me cue up my laptop thing. Not just with... with no, just, just in general. Just in yeah. general, it makes me feel weird. Aesthetically, pretty it's, sure it, it's that, a pretty weird choice. That uh, Ben from Title Fight plays drums on it. Okay. Uh, I think there's some other instrumentation and, you know... And that'll come across live. Here's the thing. New, new song is just good. Objectively just it's good. It's objectively good. I had people who were yeah, I mean, major haters, like, yep. like, F this shit. Yeah. I find who were like, yo, new tracks undeniable. I mean, that dude's written a lot of great songs. For sure. So it, it, he didn't lose that ability. No, but you can you can get married to a gimmick and forget that people just want your good songs. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And I don't know, if, like, I don't necessarily worry that that was going to happen, but it had the potential to happen with something that does have a very alienating s- sort of yo, choice in, up front. You know? And and there's an interesting take to go from something that, like, yo, there's people on the internet every day being like. Can title fight come back? Sure, every single day. Yo. So to go from that to a new project that's your own thing, you're gonna work through some shit and try different things. And I think he figured it out. And then I'm yeah. curious to hear this new record. The only point of comparison between there's two points of comparison between uh, Adam Wickaface and and, uh, Ned. and Ned's gl- glitter work is that it it is uh, dudes who are in popular guitar acts who are now doing something other, right? Yeah. But otherwise, they're not very comparable no, uh, no. musically, whatever. Right. But uh, I got to give Adam a lot of credit. Adam was the OG of enduring people going, hey, can you just go to the band Shit. that we like yeah. you in? Can yeah. you stop this nonsense? Yeah. And he just p- saw his true north, which was whatever the fuck Wicca phase is, and maintained the fucking heading and is now fucking... <laughs> Who's the best rock example of that? I don't know. There's some really good ones and obvious ones that are staring us in the face. That just did like something that was... Some- that were like, I'm not going to do that shit anymore. Oh, like... Uh, I'm trying to think of it. I don't know. People talk about the Walker Brothers, but I don't think it's that no, weird to change. Uh, um, I mean, Ben Gibbard. Stevie Wonder had a pretty successful like Motown career. Mm-hmm. And then when he got out of his contract, he just started doing his shit. Yeah. And refused to go back to any of that old shit. Let's say Kid Rock. Do you have to? <laughs> sure, Kid Rock. Speaking of Kid Rock. Speaking of Kid Rock, I never ending game. Oh, no yeah. No warning. One step closer. Power trip. Protester. Teenage wrist. Three knee deep. Union front. Vane. Wild side. Wise. You're the knife. Young gov. And oh, by the way, they forgot him. Candy. Those are, that's a really fun fucking show. Yo. I mean, that's not a show. Yeah, it's it's, it's a great yeah. fest. Yeah, Would this no, no, but I'm saying like that. I don't know. Oh, just that line. Oh, right. Oh, okay. yeah. I know. That's yeah. just that. Uh, Would this show have sold out without half heart? Yeah. Yes. Well, I don't know what size room. It's tough. Twenty five hundred. That's a big room. That's that's a big room. It's a big fucking same room. spot it was at last year. I think it would have been close, but it's hard to tell. And on a later episode, we'll talk about festivals. Yo, okay. that would have done two thousand. Real quick, easily. Real quick, it's fucking great. I've played this one in its, in its old incarnation and new incarnation. This is a fun fucking fest. Yeah, you know I mean, this is very fun. People who are going there from far away, you're in for a treat. Yeah, it's a fun fest. Speaking of people going there from far away, what's up? What's up? Let's what buy tickets it? after this. Let's get, buy Are we tickets going? when we go off. Sure. Right. Why not? Let's yeah. go. I'll go. Let's we'll go. go. Yeah, we'll you, go. You're not going to be around. I, I have no idea. I he, think he you're missing the Ab Hart Boston shows. Oh. Worcester yeah. shows. I think you're on something. Okay. Drugs. Drugs. <laughs> no, but I remember no, seeing it. Like, his, his, um, it's, that's when he does his spoken word in Canada for his 4th of July meditation. There you go. All right. Him and Eric Wilson. Yes. That's right. With the cooler stuff. Yeah. Speaking of. Eric Wilson, Marauder and Sheer Terror playing Canada, Jace. Yeah. Um, 
Harvest is doing a hometown show in Minneapolis on Saturday, July 13th, Saturday of Sound and Fury, but it's in Minneapolis, so hopefully not too much yeah, I think this, yeah. Harvest, Blue Ox, Wonder, Wanderer, and Optimal Crime. I actually like those support band names. I don't know if I'd like the bands, but I like the names. Blue Ox, yeah, Wanderer, Ox. Optimal Crime. Optimal Crime. Uh, um, Seventh Street Entry. Seventh Street Entry. I listened to uh, the Harvest record on this tour. Uh, it's uh, by choice. Yeah, uh, I think it's a little. Too, I think it's a little too. Uh, still a little too thin for my ear. Uh, Very nineties. Yeah, but heavy. Uh, it is. It's an interesting band because, as we've talked about, they were always like one chorus away from being something that people could sink their teeth into and just didn't do it. You know what I mean? So, so it, it, it's kind of like very arm's length. I will revisit it because I didn't like it at the time. Hopecon touched, you know, like I liked Hopecon, yeah, yeah. you know, but uh, this, I just feel like, I feel like there's some production issues on the recordings and just sonically wasn't, I'll say wasn't it's, be- I'll say, I'll say it's very likely better than you remember. Like sure. it, it, Definitely it, it, it was, be- it's aged well. Yeah. I feel like nobody else really sounds like them. No, that's true. Like if you hear a Harvest song, you know, it's a Harvest song. Yep. They put out a seven inch within the last five years. Oh yeah, that's right. That. Sounds like fucking harvest. You want to hear? Here's a very weird hot take. Uh, I like Season of Fire more, and the band was not as good. But I, I think that they, the songs were more palatable. Probably Bob, actually, okay. you would enjoy Season of Fire much more. Uh, but uh, weirdly, there's something about it that just goes down easier than Harvest. I mean, and Epicure is one of the '90s, yeah, hardcore hits. Absolutely. Absolutely, um, and and I would say a, Papa Roach I, I, would, I would say a Himsa on the uh, LP. Yes, is, is also a hit. Porcupine and Prowns are doing an East Coast tour from July twelfth to the nineteenth. Uh, so Prowns, oh, who is who's written us before, and Porcupine, Porcupine, who I put on for all the yeah. time. Yeah, Chicago-based uh, band Porcupine. I don't know where Prowns is from. Here, here, Brooklyn? Yeah. here. Yeah. Um, What's it? Prowns? Prowns, not prawns. No, Prowns like noun, but with a PR. P R O U N S. Okay. Um, the uh, I think they're from here. The, the I think Brooklyn, yeah. uh, Porcupine I think is really really underrated, and their newest material around, their newest material is very interesting. Yeah, I I think if you're somebody who's checking out newer stuff, um, less less m- not the Gulch is super moshy, but if you like the band Gulch from California, I would recommend checking out Porcupine. I think they're interesting kind of angular but really still aggressive fast hardcore yeah it's it's always aggressive uh it goes into heavy but not the chicago heavy that we've seen from the last couple of years not midwest heavy uh, like yeah. ignorant um and it is uh there's some really clever moments and when they nod to things they they it is a nod so it, it it's well done a show i want to see if you guys would go to for free <laughs> bouncing souls stoked for summer <laughs> I like this framing. Go on. You're welcome. Bouncing Souls Stoked. Well, because Patrick only goes to shows he goes to for free. Correct. Yes. Bouncing Souls Stoked for Summer. Spanish Love Songs. Not sure what that is. I checked that. That's good. Okay. Leftover Crack. I'm there. Fucked Up. Okay. Mighty Mighty Boss Tones. And Bouncing Souls. Pat would 100% go to that for free. You want to hear a fucked up hot take? You like the new record. Uh no, but is a hot take fucked up or is it about fucked up? <clears throat> uh, well, no, it, this is a hot take not coming from me. It's coming from Ian RJC. Okay, uh, fucked we've up, talked about. I actually think I've talked to him. In his view, fucked up has written a all time classic hardcore punk song on the new record. Yes, and, yeah, he's right. And what I told him is, and it'll never get that credit because it's on a late period record. That's totally true. Eighty-five minute record. Yo, <laughs> yo, yo, also, is, here's my hot. Here's my hot take. I uh, I like the new fucked normal up people because it sounds so much like the Boss Tones. It, it, it there are Boss Tones tracks. Do 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 do. On this do, do, new. Do, do, do. Yeah, the, the first song is it it gruff and his horns. Yes. There's yeah. but That's but it takes. also it's the song structures are yeah. good. I mean, there's some really interesting classical stuff. I think also fucked up pulls in some like new new wave stuff with a rock f- template that would appeal to a lot of your sensibilities. Um, uh, honestly, on they, this record, they sounded. I watched them from behind the stage at, sure. at Punk Rock Bowling. Oh, for the VIP. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. What did they? Was that on your headliner? Or? Yeah. From behind the stage, yeah. that was like when I had seen Fucked Up. They were. T- 
terrible. And this, they sounded full and they're, good. They're, and, they're and, a very good live band yeah. at this point. Three um, guitar players. Yeah, yeah that's, that doesn't always, but that's, not, do that's not always the band aid you need. That'll but, fill it up. <laughs> um, <laughs> fill it up. What was it? It's fucked up. Would you go to see Leftover Crack? 100%. Because he's a troll. Like yes, one hundred percent. So that's a life, so we're gonna that's have to go. Life we're troll. gonna go to Sound of Fury. Living under a bridge. Fly back. Maybe we'll try to fly into AC. <laughs> go right <laughs> to Asbury. Go right up. Rent a suit for Pat so yes. he can skank in the suit for Bob. Done. Done. All right, we're there. It's an it's, it's a fun show. I hope they do. I, I think that's it's a outdoors. big show. I think it's yeah. at, outdoors at Stone Pony. It is. Did, did you, Souls over Mighty Mighty Boston. That's a flex. Did, in 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 Asbury, they could play over fucking anybody. Oh yeah, but of course, yeah, Bruce yeah. Springsteen. Did you see that leftover crack shirt that I was tweeting about the other day? No, no. It was the okay. So for this doesn't mean anything to you. Uh, Bob lived with one of my closest friends in the world, yeah. Paul, uh, and uh, and I in Albany. Paul. We've mentioned on this podcast, podcast. he's a lunatic. Yes. Uh, wonderful. A wonderful lunatic. Wonderful lunatic. Wonderful lunatic. Uh, when he stopped drinking years ago, but when he would like to get belligerently sloppy, hammered, fight people in the street, we knew that it was the day that that was happening because he would put on the leftover crack Dylan Ooh. Klebold Eric Harris shirt. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember this yes, shirt? I do remember. So for it, people yeah. that don't recognize, was it like a fucking security camera photo of them? It was them photoshopped. I say photoshopped yes. loosely, holding forties. Yeah, and, and it was. It is a great shirt. I, I almost bought it on eBay the other Man, day. Man, it's it is like, it's like this TV sitcom where it's like, uh oh, dad took his belt off. <laughs> Like, you know what's coming. Uh -oh. Paul put on the fucking leftover crash. Yes. Yeah. You exactly. should buy that and wear it to Colorado and see how it goes. Well, yeah, it'll go great, I'm <laughs> yeah. sure. Um, Yo, I they, did. There's certain places that take things very seriously. By I wouldn't the, be that type By the way, Vegas takes things very oh, yeah. seriously. Yeah, they got, they're a little bit sensitive these days. Very seriously. Yeah. Fucking 500 people got shot, dude. Yeah. Very seriously. Yeah, I just, yeah. We some call, some stuff is funny. called Desert 9-11, so. Very serious. Brutal, man. How many people were shot? Wasn't it 500? It was a is lot. that true? That can't yeah, I think there was tens of thousands of people. A lot. Like and, not, and the guy had dead. had uh, automated web. Did you guys hear about the VB shooting yesterday? Yes, yes, yes. yes. That's really sad. Across the street from some of our listeners' old high school. So, no shit. Oh, yeah, shit. crazy. Mm. Um, on a lighter note, I did design a shirt yesterday because it was the anniversary of uh, John Ar Arbuckle oh. drinking dog season. Oh yeah, yeah. It was the big moment. I think it was the uh, 29th anniversary. So fuck. Big shout out. So, so buddies, next year is really community. like thirtieth. I know. I, it was just it was just the middle one because I didn't want to make a shirt that says I hate puppies. Yeah, but it was the middle one where he swigs it down. I just put Collapse Records. That's great. It's good. So I'm going to make some of those. Fifty eight people got killed. Four hundred twenty two wounded. Holy fuck! And the ensuing panic brought the injury total to eight hundred and fifty one. Fuck. People. Well, I mean, think about you're in where you guys are playing. Yeah. Yes. There's some fucking asshole in a fucking window. Yep. Shooting down. Yep. Uh, with yeah, you don't with know lots doing. of automatic weapons. Yeah. Right. I mean, you're. I mean, yeah. I'm surprised they still do it. I give them credit. Yeah. Uh, uh, actually, you want a quick conversation about yeah, this? Yeah, let's do it. I spoke to security there. Fascinating, oh. fascinating. But I'm sure they, some of their friends died. Uh, no, th so th not that security. Th so the security that was brought in, like as a one-off, who. Like train fucking militants like, like in Burkina Assad. Faso, you know yeah. what I mean? Like th it, these dudes are serious fucking dudes, yeah. and uh, it was fascinating talking to them. By the way, if you're a billionaire, you are paying for some real weird shit. I learned this fucking weekend. You know what I mean? Like right. real weird shit. So. Hmm. Uh, we can talk about it. All, 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 I don't yeah, want to throw anybody to get, in, but yeah. you're paying for some weirdo shit. Weird. Huh? I want to pull it back around because you mentioned something about uh, Ian saying that this. I believe he's referencing the song "Normal People" off the new fucked up record. Sounds right. Yeah. Um, we did our five for five. I've gotten some cool feedback. Some of that we'll go through in a mailbag episode. One person brought up that from 2010 to 2014, they felt like darker, hardcore, more metalish stuff was really big, citing Full of Hell, citing uh, Rise and Fall, citing uh, Young and in the Way, uh, Trap Them, Oathbreaker, etc. Sure, yeah. But it was like, this also was a re, re an uptick of Converge. Mm. There was a renewed interest there. And I kind of went through and was like, you know, for Rise and Fall, they were trailing off and they weren't really around anymore. For... Um, for Trap Them, I don't think... I think by the time they started really gaining popularity, they were more like 
metal slash hardcore Jace. I wouldn't say they defined it. Oathbreaker, Young in the Way, I think weren't at their peak yet in that time frame. But I was like, with Converge, I think you're making a good point. But the fact that they were 15 years deep into their career and however many LPs, no one's pointing at them as a band who defined the period, even though they may have. Oh, sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and the, he, a uh, big shout out to the person who said, that, I think your name was Tyler. He also references Abalba and Harm's Way, who I think we noted when we yeah. did our 20, our, the Mosh Madness tournament as being really early on the heavy hardcore yeah. shit. Mm-hmm. So, so I think it's interesting to talk about when a band's later period material is excellent but just because people aren't it's later clocking period, for it, yeah. no, it's tough. It's tough. We talked about this with Bitter End. I think Bitter End's later material stands up to the early material for right. sure. But I mean, I think Converge's new material, newer material, is clocked by a whole different crowd. That could be. agree. It's yeah. not agree. like you know the kid that's waiting for them to play something off petitioning. No, it's no. not clocking for it. But I mean, they're still fucking gigantic. So it's and it's not the same people because they've definitely shed some people sure. that are waiting 100%. to hear. The fucking you know I abstained or, or yeah. whatever fucking nineties mo- they have a song called I abstained. I know no um, no like I'm, that, I'm just surprised song. we went that far back yeah you know what I mean like yeah. that they're waiting for yeah because they were waiting for fifteen years and finally they got the hint like yo like oh they're not gonna play the saddest day yeah. at every show yeah they still draw as big as they've ever been so yeah, they're doing something one step closer and anxious are doing a full full U S tour played with anxious they're cool cool guys yeah was that on the headliner. That was on one of the headliners. One of the headliner shows in uh, in Connecticut. Um, Very cool. Both those bands are on the uptick. I don't know if there'll be a person over the age of 23 in that van. Oh, yeah, probably That's not. pretty sick. That's, that's, that's the way it should that's be. That's the way it should be. So big shout out. They're doing the Have Heart show in Worcester and then touring out to Sound and Fury, mm. then touring back across the U.S. and playing This Is Hardcore. Mm. Pretty sick. Good for them. That's a quick turnaround. Yeah, it is. So from like July 5th, to July 13th or whatever. It's it's a seven day across the country. I mean, that's pretty quick for a show. And then, like, and you're then playing they, every night. Then they wind around on the way back. Right, right, so, right. But I'm saying like, it's a pretty quick shot. Oh, yeah. Hmm, uh, they're up. playing, I think, the fifth and then the next day they're in Cleveland. Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah, crazy. <laughs> Pure Noise Tour. So, yeah, it's Patrick's not, not happy about driving that. I was Just, thinking about that drive and being like, nope. Oh, wouldn't, they're wouldn't young do and it. reckless. Wouldn't do it. Pure Noise Tour. Stick to your guns. Terror. Counterparts, Sanction, You're the Knife, Full U.S., starts July 18th, runs to August 24th, five-weeker. Goddamn. Mm. Mm-hmm. And that'll be huge. I mean, yeah, there's a couple of really big acts on that. I, mean, I think um, all the band's pretty big. Well, Sanction... So that's a mix for Pure Noise. They've got kind of their stand, their like old guard and then the new breed, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Which we're going to see a couple times on this when we're talking about these things. That's an interesting mix because uh, we think about like... Like nobody in this room, no disrespect, it should be implicit, thinks that uh, Counterparts is a hardcore act, right? Even though no. we recognize a lot of Shai Hulud in them and yeah. whatever. But like we don't think of them in that context. Uh, but we probably do think of Year, Year of the Knife in that context. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and obviously Terror. But, but, it's, but it's interesting that kind of the young acts that get swept up in some of the excitement of heavy mm-hmm. might be things that, you know, we, we will see at shows well, that are in the same bucket, but people yeah. parse, Yeah, you know, sanction, where does sanction fall? Right on the line, man. Right. Right on the line. Right. And it's like sanctions, sanctions on the line. You're the knife's one, one tick this way. Yep. Counterparts is one tick that way. Yep. So same, same goes for stick your guns and, and terror. You know what I mean? It's, yeah, there's some people, I bet there's most people who would consider themselves stick to your guns fans would be like, yeah, they're a hardcore band. What else are they? I, I 100%, 100% yes. Yep. It, it, being the uh, non-core dude that I am. Uh, the non-core pure noise recording headliner. artist? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I can tell you that... It does I, a few headliners. I can tell you that there are some very, very, very broad definitions of hardcore in, uh, out there in the world. 100%. The broadest. Let's hit this one. Avail. Richmond, Virginia, July 19th and July 20th. Richmond, VA. Those are all sold out. Yeah, I made fun, I made fun of somebody for traveling to go. Uh, I I was making fun of somebody to someone else, saying like, "Yeah, they're the type of person that would travel to the Avail show." And then he said, "I'm traveling to the Avail." A show. lot of people are traveling to the. And Avail did you show. give him the? Wah, wah, I did, I right did, in his yeah, face, I really did. close. Um, yeah. It was Andy Rice. Um, <laughs> he's going. He's traveling to the Avail show. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, he'll be mad once they play in Seattle or wherever he's from living now. But he, he also he also uh, like was a bikini kill at any cost guy. Like he went. He went to the show in LA and was like, it made like a, I like, like a pil- pilgrimage of it. Okay. Playing the night. Um, 
in New York? In Brooklyn. Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah. Uh, Show us that looked like. Look, Avail's sick. Uh, Avail's great. Uh, yeah, it fill, fill those shows. When are the playing? other shows? Do you remember offhand? Are they yes. fall. Yeah, uh, they're playing Brooklyn September seventh. Oh, that's sold out immediately. Right, right. Yep. At the Warsaw. Hmm. Um, I believe that's with Angel Dust. Okay, that's right. Um, and then they're playing Riot Fest the week after. Hmm. September thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth. Yeah. Yep. No, I hope they're good live now. They, I were, think they, they were good when I saw They them. were really good. I wonder, but you know what? They're a band who reverberated so... The crowd would just like... Yeah. It's, it's going to yeah. be wild. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. I, I think, think the Richmond shows will set a tone. Oh, those would be great. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so, bummed I'm not going to those. Yeah, that's that's a good time. Uh, uh, this is Hardcore. is July 26th through 28th. Okay. Is it, is it usually at the end of July or is yes. it in August? Okay. Yeah, it's like right there. I don't like know. Some, yeah. I think it's usually the last weekend. In my head, it's always in August, but I guess it's not. I, no, but I think it's right it on that around. edge. Sometimes yeah, okay. it'll be the 30, you know, it's how the weeks fall. Sometimes, because of the way the time moves, <laughs> the days fall on different days. Uh, you so it tell could me. be. I mean, time know. is a flat circle. I don't That's know. That's true. I just, it's like the earth. Yeah, I just get in a van, I do these headliners. Dudes. All right, I'm going <laughs> to read, the, I'm gonna read these off like we were doing for the other fest. Uh, headliners. Because it's a different format. Code Orange saves the day. Gorilla Biscuits. Friday, Saturday. Code Orange. Saturday saves the day. Sunday's Gorilla Biscuits. Can I offer a hot take? Yep. Code Orange should have headlined this sooner. Yeah. Yes. Two not, or three years ago. Yeah. Not a hot take. Uh, it's cool though. That said, it's cool. Yeah. It's cool. Save day would be cool if they play, if they do the right thing. You know what I think the right thing is? Let's hear it. I think the right thing is playing Stay What You Are front to back. It's a great record. And ignoring the rest of the bullshit. Mm-hmm. No, but catalog. they'll play those first three records. If they do that, it'll come off. I just want them to do the acoustic seven no. from between the no. first LP and second LP. I my think sa- it'll be cool. My Saves the Day knowledge and uh, affinity and even tolerance Ends is, that. is only Stay What You Are. He doesn't like That's the record that got me into them. them. Yeah. I mean, it's because it's a. Really? It's you a, didn't like the stuff a very, No, because it, it was like, I love Lifetime and this sucks. Yes, correct. Uh. And then I st- went back st- there. Stay What You Are came back and, it's it great came record, out and you're like, man. yeah, it's just well constructed. Yeah. So he got a yeah. yeah. It's so good. No. This is what I heard. This is what they're playing. The whole thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, stop. Man, I, I don't mean, know it, that I've actually listened to that whole song through. In 19 years, and I still know all the words. Fuck, he will up. definitely come out and do that as an opener, and then bring the band out around him. Yeah. Dude, it's all right. Don't that's a cool line. It's, say that. Yeah. What's we'll the third, this, what's the third act? I'm sorry. Uh, Gorilla, Biscuits. Gorilla Biscuits. Oh, oh, his little band. band. Yeah, little thing. Oh, your old label mates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Um, yeah, uh, Gorilla Biscuits. Still fucking sick in 2000. Diminishing returns 19. for the first time ever, maybe. I would guess. Okay. Yes, but it's small. In the same way that I just saw Sick of It All fucking light up a fucking festival stage, GB gonna light up a fucking nobody. Festival stage. Nobody manages it better. This I, I think they're the band who's managed their reunion best. Uh, and there's arguments for others, but for a band who didn't want to release new material, they play between one and six shows a year. Yep, and it just this was a year they played six or seven shows. And I think next year they probably pull it back. Yep. And maybe they don't even play. Or maybe they do one. And that interest just reswells. We're just at the end of the cycle. Girl, I think it's easy to manage it well when you're coming from that. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're fucking... Start today. It's it's equivalent of like have heart. It's like... You also, look like a fucking world beater because you got fucking... If Gorilla, got, if Gorilla Biscuits had done 2006 and just done the one shows, like, holy shit. How big would those have been? Here's right. here's a hot take. It's not at all hot. Are you ready? Gorilla Biscuits also very able to do this because it's it might be goofy, it might be silly even at times, right? Yeah, sure. But it's not... I think it is harder for a band like Marauder just to pull one out of, my, uh, out of the air mm-hmm. to... Grab a forty-year-old and say, "Put yourself back in that space that you were in when, when you, when you loved." Yeah. No, Where, whereas Gorilla Biscuits, you'll see a forty-year-old man stage dive because it's shits. fun and passionate and yes. upbeat and kind of like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's it's and there's a lightness to it, lightness. Thank that, you. Yeah, that you can it's can grab punk. onto and 
in, enter in and enter out. Yeah. Yeah. It is pop punk. But I, I have to say, hot take, I'm good with seeing the fucking horn players. Enough already. Oh, okay. it's uh, the yeah. same. Yeah. Fucking yeah no, show. no, no, no yeah. shtick on that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, enough shtick. already. Yeah. Yeah. Like, some randos playing the fucking we cool. yeah, the Kentucky Derby, yeah, whatever the fuck thing. I don't need it. Open with a different song. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right, I'm just going to read a couple lines at a time, and you Sorry. can tell me what excites. <laughs> I'm not that right. like angry. That angry. I like that take. Off Chromags, 100 Demons. Which Chromags? Uh, it's Chromags. <laughs> J.M. Okay. We're going to discuss before that. August 1st. Okay. We're going to discuss yes, that. Right, right. Is it Grandfather Den? This is the last, last one. That's yes. the last one. Okay, Grandfather Den. 100 Demons. Sick. With Bruce. With Sick. Bruce. Agnostic Front, uh, 35 Years of Victim in Pain. That'll be really good, actually. I mean, that's, yeah, you can't go wrong with yeah. that shit. Breakdown, all at war. What sick, of that sick. that group? What all sick? Uh, there's I, nothing. I would skip off. off. Oh yeah. yeah, I would skip off. Someone told me they're an off fan. Rich I, Miles. I, yeah, yeah, we're not convinced that's real. He might be trolling. I um, think he's trolling. So stop trolling us, Rich. Uh, I would actually watch everything, and I would watch off because, as I pointed out, I, I actually when I the one occasion I did see them, I was impressed with the plane. It's just not very dynamic. But the uh, translation machine. I met Keith Morris at Punk Rock Bowling at our headlining gig. <laughs> right. He was so nice to me. Now I feel bad about saying the bad things on his bad band. No, Mr. Just, Stern introduced him I to just, just all like of the bad I things like about the, the bad like band the, I take away. I like, no, now oh, they is good. Off is fine band. Yeah, we friends. Drug Church that. off tour 2020. Uh, I'm just saying. Bartender Punk. Uh, That's uh, next. Yeah. Let's Correct. Go. Wisdom and Chains. <clears throat> Death Always Threat. 20 Years of Last Days. Different lineup. Hmm. These last days, that's my favorite Death it, stuff. It's Knuckles with the, that band. Oh, okay. So it's not T.O., it's not those dudes. I think it's just... Interesting. The OGs. Yeah. Harm's Way, Eco okay. Strike, yep. Old Firm Casuals, Oy. Death Before Dishonor, All right. Down Presser, Max Penn, Inclination, Billy Club Sandwich, Regulate, <laughs> Fuck. Laid to Rest, Into Another. I'm excited for Into Another. Yeah. Early on the show, though. If you About look midway, at the, yeah. yeah. On Broken Wings... People are excited about on broken wings. Yes, people like that. Okay, blood bather, trail of lies, eyes of the Lord, face wreck, hoods, no option. Fuck hoods. Fuck eternal sleep. Okay, means way, spine, hangman, regional yeah. justice center. Mm. They uh, they did triple crown. They yeah, yeah, did yeah. every fest. Wow, um, which I think is more. So it's like the uh, the ma- they do the PGA thing where you get all four majors. I think. Uh, Ka- Kawanashi Aggressive Dogs from Japan One Step Closer Gulch Excited for Gulch Magnitude Guillotine Magnitude's down there Enemy Mind Shackled Section Hate Drain Fixation Vatican Anxious Payback Wow So you said a lot of shit So I'm gonna lose some stuff But uh, Regulate Max Pen And Uh uh, I would actually I'd like to see Laid to Rest Live Sure it's pretty wild I'm sure it is uh, There's a lot of space In that room That you can fucking Really get ahead of steam <laughs> <laughs> Like I don't know That's like uh, People that are listening to me I know that I can't make A difference in your life To make you do the right thing I, I understand This is just all Spoken into the void Where is this going? Uh, I, I, 125 pounds are over Do not say Jack. I understand that laid to rest is not necessarily a stage dive band or a sing along band. It is a mosh band. I understand that, but can we can we just keep the pits tight this year? Is that a Bring thing it in, we can man. do? Please? Everyone take a knee. What are you? Please. Are you telling people they can't mosh if they're over a certain <laughs> weight? or under? Oh, it's under. It's if you're under 125, uh, you can't get mosh. the fuck out of here. Keep yeah. the pit tight. Keep it tight. You'll have more fun. If your cholesterol isn't. That's scary. what stick tight is about. The pit. The pit. My okay. friends. Mm. Bring it in a little bit, a little He's bit. He's trying to drop impact unit to, to make am. up for being like, I am. like. Let me just do this. All right, uh, into another in the middle of the day. I'm excited <laughs> about that. Gold strain, sick. Okay, they're doing ignore us. I don't know if they're doing it at that show though. They're doing it on the rest the shows around it. So oh, no, I think that, it is. I think I saw something. That said, is it? They said they're going to do it. Yeah, okay, that's sick. I'll, that I'll record catch fantastic. me crying to fucking two snowflakes. Two we've snowflakes. we've, tur- we've turned a fair amount of people on to to into another because mm. into another kind of really? fell into a fell into a bit of a memory hole for a second cool. there, yeah. and yeah. Uh, and last we forget <laughs> so good <laughs> tightly it's to the nail and I'd mosh to running into walls. Fuck yes, I would. For our listeners that have not checked out, into I feel another. like having a seance. <laughs> I feel like having a seance. Have you really? When's the last time you listened to another? I listen to Seamless often. Okay, good. Seamless but, is so fucking good. Uh, but Seamless is like not the one that 
Like, no, it's Ignorus good, is the though. go-to. Ignorus is the big, but Seamless is like... What's the one with Herbivore? Uh, uh, that's on... Um, the, 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 po- the, uh, poison. No. No, it's uh, the... the f- it's like an EP. Yeah. Oh, we have Poison. Creepy Fingers. It, creepy it, EP. Creepy okay, so Creepy EP. Uh, very challenging listen. Yeah. <laughs> seamless, very easy listen. Seam- Ignorus, it just gets easier as the career yes. goes on until yes. you hit Soul Control, the unreleased electronic mm. record. Mm. Whoa. Do, do, do. It's good. Spoiler, it's good. Um, it's good, Brad. They're not playing it at the show. Uh, Vatican, Typecast, Life's Question, Hell of Self. Full U.S. tour uh, from July 29th to August 23rd. Wow. Metalcore. Yes. Yeah. Right? There's a li- there's a life for that stuff right now. Yeah. It's, yeah. It, it's like very genre. It's very niche now, but it's, it's so it's not blowing up like it used to. No, it was it was on the rise before, but now it's got its spot. Just Vatican fans, yeah. tour is like nobody. Mm. And it's I... Crazy. I, I you're going to hear me say a thing. I, I want there to be some crossover between this stuff and the less metal oh, sure. stuff. Yeah. You know, uh, why, and I believe, so I'll, I'll reference it right now. Eco Strike, Magnitude, and Vision are doing a West Coast tour, 8 5 to 8 15, that overlaps, I believe, it may be one show of mm-hmm. that tour, and they just combine shows. The smart awesome. move. Any of those bands, Eco Strike, Magnitude, and Vision, could sub in on that tour, and it would work. And you'd get crossover from people who may not have heard the bands on the other side. Right. So uh, encourage that. So we talked about the Pure Noise, Pure Noise, Pure Noise tour. <laughs> Acacia Strain, Kublai Khan, Judiciary Chamber tour. Kind of does Midwest, South, and East Coast from the end of July to mid-August. 731 to 818. Um, how much does that help bands like Judiciary and Chamber? Judiciary, the most hardcore of the bands on there to me but certainly heavy enough that appeals to that crowd yeah it's a good question it's also like i don't want to say i mean brave will will reserve for people that are like fighting fires (laughs) yeah Yeah. right exactly (laughs) i can't believe (laughs) that you took your band and opened for another band you're so brave right yeah 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 yeah. we'll reserve we're sending bravery badges to bands (laughs) who do this kind of stuff (laughs) it's like a fucking ballsy ballsy it's a it's a choice let me put it like that and it's a choice (laughs) it's a choice it's a choice that that runs opposite to optics they could lose people who are like oh that's not cool Right, but uh, as we'll talk about in great length at some future podcast, cool is definitely a fucking myth in 2019. Cool don't pay you capable. Doesn't fucking exist. So uh, I just can't. I think that they're fucking smart. So uh, and here's the thing: I don't think people understand. A tour is a tour. You're gonna do many more of them in your fucking life. If right. it don't go the way you like, you just do another one. Exactly. Right. Like that's the lesson you've yeah. learned from self defense. Yeah. Some whack band offers you to do a tour, you just say no and never do any other tours. <laughs> Right, uh, and you try to curate, and then you guys play like three shows a year, like you're the fucking misfits. Mm. <laughs> I mean, that's what you do. We're skewering you because I don't think you've gotten it enough on this tour. Mm. I think you were. Yeah, he came little, in like, uh, little big hen on the drug church tour. Yeah, like he, go, he couldn't get his head. In, he couldn't fit his head through my doorway. Uh. <laughs> Boy, I'm gonna pop that right quick. <laughs> Welcome back, son. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Uh, Mind all right, Force right, returns right, 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 to New York right, City. Right. Yeah. On August third. That's cool. Uh, Mind Force regulate a Kulu illusion. Big good, good show. Good show, man. At Gold Sounds, love that venue. Great venue. It's the best venue in New York right now. What's the cap? Two hundred. Perfect. Depends on who's at the door. Little brands at the door. Yeah. Three fifty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's probably comparable to that place, that spot. Drug charge played in Bushwick. Oh yeah. Your fall tour might go there. That'd maybe, be cool. Which I think would be really cool. Oh, damn. For that particular show, that would be an underplay and very But it fun. would be it's scary. Very Banging. fun. Yes. And that's the hope. Um, it's Gold a great Sounds, setup. If you cool. want my opinion, Gold Sounds is the heart of the New York scene right now, and it's fucking rad, and I hope shows keep going through there. The people who are booking shit there are killing it and should do more of it. It's fucking rad. I held the door for Jake the Snake Roberts there. No yeah. big deal. There you go. NBD. But it's cool because like you don't have to be in the showroom. Mm. Like so like you get in, it's a pretty yeah. big decent sized bar area yep. with a pool like it's a ton of stuff. And then you go through a door and you're in the back. It's a nice venue okay. size. And yeah. it's you know Fun. you could I mean a pack show in there like this show will be It'll be fucking Diving nuts. will be crazy yeah. at that show. Uh, I mentioned the Ego Strike Magnitude Envision West Coast tour um, in August cool i just wish there was one band who was a change up throw wild side on this instead of one of those flip it around Feel throw that. fury just sure. one cool which also wild side is doing a big tour out west uh so people should go check that shit out um harm's way jesus peace 
Portrayal of Guilt, Fuming Mouth, Midwest, East Coast. Just a 10 day in August, 8, 7 to 8, 18. Oh, Pretty cool. fucking heavy. Yeah. It's happy <laughs> Don't show. got anything else to say besides that. Playing fucking heavy. Decent sized rooms. Yeah. I bet. Playing the House of Independence in Asbury. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Brooklyn Bazaar. What? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like big rooms. What? Harm's Way. Jesus Harm's Way is piece. bringing it up. I think they're mixing it up with Portrayal of Guilt. Mm-hmm. Yep. I, I hope people who are going for Harm's Way Jesus piece check out both Portrayal of Guilt and Fuming Mouth. I think you'll see some. This I, is an example of a slightly mixed Harm's Way Jesus piece. Logical. Yeah. Too logical, too logical almost. They Agree. Need that, they need that other Agree, thing. Agree. Yeah. But but to be honest, I think for both Harm's Way and Jesus Peace, um, that's strengthening playing a bigger room. Agreed. So it's I like, mean, so, and it's those, a nice number for yeah. those bands. Hell yeah. And yo, I, I said this like earlier on this, in the our podcast life. Yeah. Harm's way, I just want to win. Yeah, I think a lot of people do. <laughs> I just want to uh, like fill those fucking And rooms. I want to say uh, Jesus Peace has endured a lot of storm and is kept going. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's true, actually. Good and point. So, so good for them. And I, I like Portrayal of Guilt on this. I like Fuming Mouth on this. Yep. So it's a cool opportunity for all these bands. I hope I hope it kind of opens the door for all that. This is an interesting one in New York. Hardcore Hell. Mm. Fest in Brooklyn uh, by the dudes, one of the guys, Dano, who does a bunch of the shows in New York, and one of the fellas who does Not Dead Yet Fest mm. up in C- Toronto doing this three-day thing with mixed shows, nothing too giant, um, from the 9th through the 11th. Some of the bands on it, Career Suicide, Exit Order, uh, Muro, Lifeless Dark, Creek Shot, Marked Men, Hank Wood and the Hammerheads, The Game, Arms Race, and a little show with Iron Age, mm. Candy, Red Death, Stigmatism, and I believe one other. Sold um, out already. Sold out already. Going to be crazy. Wow. Cool show. Different kind of fest. Yeah. These are dudes who helped do the Iron Lung okay. record shows that yep. were here last month, mm-hmm. where I saw City Hunter play a small theater to about 40 or 50 people, mm. all of whom were sitting except for the oh, six so of nice. us in the back. So cool. It was very odd. It was. I, I told the dude who was booking the show, I think it was Fred Pissarro and the dude Dan, I was like, this was a new experience and I haven't had, and when I have new experiences, I'm very excited. Yeah, so thank same. you. Because it wasn't. Did you stay for the odd. movie or was it the movie the opening? I did not stay for the movie. I, I cut out. I went and got food. So I went mm. to, uh, what's that? Zan's Famous Foods? Okay, yeah. That spot's fucking good. Very good. Um, not vegan. Don't bother. Mm. There are vegan options. They. Oh, uh, it's they questionable? Had, well, no, like there were, and like all, we would all go, and all my vegan friends would go there, and then all of a sudden they're like, yeah, that's not vegan anymore like most of the really? stuff like that we you think was vegan not even vegetarian because they use like some kind of like chicken broth or something like all right we're out so unless mm-hmm. they changed i think i thought they they, somebody told me that satan options you changed man <laughs> you changed so hardcore hell august that seems cool to me i'm excited to see if i get juice get me into the iron age show or what i don't know it's a small spot jason gonna be on it's oh, a late that's show a question he's mm-hmm. got all day all right we'll talk to him we'll see what we can do uh backtrack final west coast shows August 9th through the 12th with King Nine Minus and Somerset Thrower. Again, awesome. Show and love. To Long Island Hardcore. Yep. Younger, newer. Somerset's great. Somerset's cool. It's cool. I think their next record is going to be very interesting. I want to see what they do. Hell yeah. Uh, Touche Amore West Coast with Jerome's Dream, as mentioned earlier, and Dangers from August 12th through the 18th. That should be Same cool. thing, 10th anniversary. Should be cool, yeah. yeah. Um, people are excited about Dangers on that too. Are they? Like, here's my question with Dangers. It seems like they've, I don't, it's not like, like they just have their fans. Correct. And some, they get some new ones, but they never spike up or down beyond where they, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's exactly right. Like very, they get new ones consistent. to replace old yeah. ones who leave, but it's just. That's exactly right. Okay. And I think that's a cool spot to be. Um, Tom, can you talk about this one? August 23rd, where are you going to be? Oh, oh. weird. Mm. Finally. Mm. Mm. I'm going to be in LaGrange. Never heard Kentucky. of it. Oh, okay. Where's that? Is that in... It's in Oldham County. Oh. Oldham. Where it's August 23rd, 2019 at the City Place in LaGrange, Kentucky, right outside of Louisville. Mm. So what's that? That's just, just on the, the Indecision Tour? Or? Yeah, we're just hitting it up, you know. Just a quick stop. Right. Tuesday w- night. One of the tour, you know, one of the tour dates on our 
<laughs> three show tour of the year. Um, it's not even going to be three shows. It's a headliner. It's a headliner. <laughs> no, we're main support in this gig. Yes. Main support. Well, you know. All right. So can I, I'm going to read the lineup. Please. Saturday, August 23rd. So Saturday, August 23rd. Come to the fucking show. If you live anywhere near there, you're probably never going to see us again. So if you like Indecision, <laughs> probably come see us then because you'll never see us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a... Not, I mean, not we've a, been to Chicago once in the 12 years we've been playing shows again. Mm. Not going to happen. Yeah. Uh, LaGrange, not high traffic. Yeah. Well, I'm, it's just cool, though, because it's like literally like where these dudes live. Right. Right. So they're getting to play. Like It's like the equivalent of being like, no, I'm not playing Albany. Bethlehem. Right, yes. you're playing. You were able to finally get a place in Bethlehem. At this point, uh, we probably dream. could book a show at like your old high school. Yeah, this room, not a big room. You're like, nah. I'll say this as as, as why are you a, stepping all over my shit? Sorry, go on. <laughs> <laughs> I get one show That's a year true. to fucking promote. No, you go in. This motherfucker's you, like, you, you go, might have two. Actually, huh? you go in. Skinny Atlas go has in. a venue that has seven hundred. I want you to go people. in. I want you. This motherfucker. So you. it's not apparently not a giant venue. Maybe six fifty. Oh, which for them is yeah, fucking crazy. Who's them? Oh, okay. The opening <laughs> band is a band called Heartstopper, which I would imagine is a local band, friends of the headliner. Mm. Second, Karma from Chicago. Mm. Wild shit. Mm-hmm. Hard mosher. Hard. Hard mosher. Singer's a fucking bad dude. Uh, Judiciary. Very excited to be mm. playing with them. We're label mates. Yes. Um, right, then we got a little band from the Hudson Valley called Mind Force. Mm. Excalibur. Then we got a band from uh, Brooklyn, New York called Indecision. Mm. And we were all there to celebrate the record release, uh, the full LP um, called The Dif- Different Shade of Blue. Mm-hmm. I'm colorblind, so it's all the same to me. But, <laughs> same uh, shade of blue to him. Yes. Um, that should be the special covers. Yes. It's just you holding the record. Being like, the back covers, like, you hold like the this, like, And can't it's just a slightly different shade of blue. Can't for the see cover. shit. Um, the headlining act, Knocked Loose. Mm. Mm. It's really, I mean, honestly, I th- That's I'm, be pretty I'm actually really like touch that they asked us that's awesome yeah i think it's cool man like they don't fucking always fucking shit and like they came to us to ask us to play their record show in their hometown like yeah, that's fucking cool shit I I, have I, a fun I, time, needless man. to say they don't need you for 650 no yeah. they don't need us for a 2000 cat <laughs> they don't need us at all you know what uh, i mean but like for them to do that i i, I it was really thoughtful and i i really appreciate it no it's so cool it a good luck it's i think really you guys cool. are gonna have a really fun time i think it'll be fun as shit and you know i think you know there's gonna be kids there that never saw any of those other bands and that's awesome I think there's going to be kids that, like, this is not like a diss. There's going to be very young kids who learn your songs six days beforehand. And that's cool yeah. as fuck. Yeah, yes. for sure. I'm going to yes. do, like, the fucking, well, Creed from The Office. He doesn't watch The Office, but I'm going to dye everything black. Office? I'm going to dye my it's, hair black um, and shit so no one it's realizes. It's what we watch when you're watching Big Bang Theory. Oh! Yeah. Um, when you sing into yourself on your fucking <laughs> cheerleader. Uh, it, August 23rd. Text I just got. Yeah. Uh, uh, Kinda yes, yeah, sorta. There's a guy at the Magic Tournament wearing a self-defense family shirt. That makes all the sense <laughs> in the world. Which which tourney? <laughs> which <laughs> tourney? <laughs> yeah, are you plugged in? Oh right? my god! I, I, no, yeah, because I got friends going. What's the big con in Indianapolis? Yeah. Uh, uh, no, this one is. Uh, I th- well, I'll find the out big right one. Now. My one buddy who usually Holy goes is not shit. going this year. I have no idea how to play Magic. This is Andrew Luck. No, the track though that Josh. someone that would wear a self-defense shirt is at a fucking Magic the Gathering That's tournament. True. <clears throat> I think that's all they could hope for. And let's let's see where this tourney is at. Oh, hold on, we're gonna get an answer. Well, quick. This, is, this is answering oh, where those in, showcases it's are. It's in Catskill. Oh, yeah. oh, come on, that yeah. that's got to be Zach C. Yeah. Shout out yeah. Zach C. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That doesn't even. He wins some care. money doing that. Did you yeah, know that? He's, he's quite good. Um, e- esports. What else we got? That's almost uh, a couple. Of the two, two last ones, uh, and maybe we'll tease a third. But we'll do these last two. Godflesh is playing Providence, Rhode Island. Someone wrote into us with that first show in New England in. A long time, and yeah. that's kind of a big deal. There's people that are excited. A cool. lot of people excited. Um, I think their show in New York a couple months ago was a big deal. I'm sure they of did it. street cleaner or whatever. Oh, they played that big fest that was like the full night. It was like literally hospital a full productions. Day. Yeah, full day into the night. Yeah, like that's what I'm saying. As like, E-Town like, would say, it was the, the, the day, day was and mine. The, <laughs> the night <laughs> was also <laughs> mine. But like a DJ played until like eight o'clock the next morning, like while the dude's like sweeping up and shit. Anyway, all right. And the last thing, and it doesn't really matter, but I, we professional do, playing. The places where you come to fear the most, whatever the fuck it's Ooh. called, at Riot Fest. Wow. That's correct. That's kind of yes, sort of. That's what we're excited about? Chris Caraba, bitch. No, I'm sorry. Yes. Drug Church performing um, <laughs> Paul Walker LP in whole at the headline above Blink-182, Slayer, Bikini Kill, The Rockin' Tours, Rise Against, Flaming Lips, oh, that's interesting. Jawbreaker, Ween, Block Party, Die Antward, Patti Smith, and her band. 
Taking Back Sunday, Rancid, Violent Femmes, Descendants, Manchester Orchestra, B-52's Dashboard Confessional. What are you most excited for of those bands? B-52's for them to break a hip on stage? Yeah. Just be easy. Fresh and I will fuck you up. I bet they'd be fun. Yeah. Not now, though. Yeah, fuck years it. Ago. Fuck it. Mm. Uh, you know, as long as they're in automated wheelchairs so they don't hurt themselves, fuck, who gives a fuck? I want them in the, um, the Star Trek, the captain before kirk who mm. was in the full case and just made the beep so- sounds there you go that's what I'd i see want. him in that shit beep, sure beep beep yeah riot fest how much would you take to go to riot fest whatever drug church's guarantee is yeah we'd play that tom would you play riot fest one thousand percent would i go fifty percent yeah 50. If, i might actually go okay here's the question blink 182 calls we need you to replace dude from Alkaline Trio who's singing. Uh, what's your, you're going to get his pay, which is only like five hundred dollars. Yeah, we agreed. As we much. we do we your, as which everyone I spoke to. We have an insider in Chicago. Was like pass out of his fucking mind. So you're you're going to get his cut, which is five hundred dollars cash money, but they w to to you. So you, oh at the end of the God. year, but um, Come on. that's brutal. Five hundred. They do pay for your hotel. I paid in decision tax. Fairfield in twenty five miles away. Okay. Um, do, do they you cover go? The, do they cover the Ubers? Yeah. Do they cover the Uber? Um, yeah, but you gotta you gotta fill out the form oh, and send it oh, in. So oh. so you are gonna I get reimbursed. You get reimbursed a few months later. It's a bunch few of horseshit. Months. Yeah. They they it's a company man. We have real shit. Do you do Blink One Eighty Two? No. Tom? Drug church wouldn't do it. Drug church. No, no, just, oh, pa- just just you guys individually as professional singers. Um, you know, I don't. Yeah, well, I mean, one of us can carry a tune. Yeah, I don't. Kind, someone doesn't need auto tune. Yeah, sort of. I don't. We know neither of us play yeah, guitar. Sort of. So if it's a bass and drum thing, it's bass and drums with you singing. <laughs> yeah, um, you're yeah, doing do the it. Mark part, or the Tom parts. Yeah, you do, do it. it? Yeah. yeah, I just it hope sounds like too much hassle for me. You're out. What about doing it for Slayer? I would 100 percent do that. Yeah, no, you're not into it. Too much hassle. Bikini kill. Nope. The Rack and Tours. You Jack White. <laughs> I don't even know those songs. Me neither. I've never heard a Rack and Tours song. Uh, Ween. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Yeah, right, yeah you would. Yeah, you you fuck it. <laughs> All right. Why'd you surprise right. again? Uh, that's the summer. Okay. okay. I, I did skip because I didn't think he'd know those songs. I don't know those I don't songs. Know those songs yeah. at all. Flaming Lips. That's probably fun. Yeah, and they have one song I really like. Is that the <laughs> She Don't Use Jelly? Yes, but that's not the song I like. Right. But. That's the song he's best at singing. Yeah. All right. So uh, that's Avail's the playing this, by the way. Avail is playing this. Like down on like with the story so far. Line. It's a little sad. Mm-hmm. I bet they're still getting good money. Though. Oh, I'm sure. Above Cox Bar. Above okay. Save Ferris. Okay. Well, a well lot of, above Save Ferris. If you're Ferris. above Save Ferris, what things about are going okay for turnstiles you. Turnstiles like halfway through. Damn. Turnstiles down low. Yeah. Them and cursive. Whoa. Damn. Yeah. All right. So we'll stop reading our phones. <laughs> kind of, uh, yeah, sorta. That's the summer. Go yeah. do some shit. Go to shows. What's your biggest suggestion for if you can only pick one of these shows? We'll exclude the knock loose indecision show. Good answer. Because everyone should be there. Right. Smart. What is the one show you pick to go to? You drive two cars. And we'll exclude the half heart shows because I'm involved in those. Too, right. so. You drive two cars to Lake Luzerne, right? Uh huh. And you use inner tubes and uh-huh. you go down the the little li- the river. Right, man-made. I think. That Why goes are you talking like this lake. is a secret? Can you speak like, up? That goes into and the lake. Then we're gonna go down here, and then we're gonna. And, and you, it, that's what you, you get. Twizzlers, mm-hmm. right? Maybe yeah, Twizzlers, yeah. Or, and you get like. Yeah, uh, you go tubing. Where does it end? Is there a show the that ends? No, no. You skip the shows. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you have to pick one. Um, Three stacks fast. What a dick. You know what? I I, I had a really good time at uh, Sound of Fury. Sound uh, of Fury was really fun. That would probably be my choice as well. Everybody go. Uh, it's sold out, so you can't just show up and try to pay your way in. Me and Pat will be singing outside. Yeah. We'll be panhandling. And doing karaoke. I'll, j- I'll just be taking all comers. If I dissed your city, you can just sit, uh, step to me outside of Sound of Fury. You should set up like a little booth like like Lucy has to like, yeah, you gotta see. Realize, Psychiatri- psychiatrist I gotta, you got to realize you, you take a dude who grew up in Albany and spent like three hours living in San Diego once and he decided... <laughs> Oh, let me criticize the rest of the world. But yeah. here, here's my perspective on this. Uh huh. Does not my experience in Albany make me a ten thousand hour expert on shitholes? Yes, Thank but it's you. funny. You always However, talk about these places that you're like, they have nothing to lose. You're from Albany. You got nothing to lose either, pal. I could become a state worker. You could become a state and workers. live in a basement apartment. It's connected. No disrespect to state workers, but I would definitely jump off the top of the fucking plaza. <laughs> you could work be, in like Harriman and do it the would tax. Be, 
<laughs> it would be over. I, you know what? I talked to a to a, a CPA the other day, uh-huh. and her life because is he had a, his headlining money. Headline, again, right, right, right. Yeah, I, had get get my, I had to get my money sorted. Yeah. Right. Uh, but her life seems really together, and like like she seems very composed and like, yeah. likes yeah. her life. And I was like, I was like, oh, so is being a CPA cool? She's like, no, it's lame <laughs> as hell. Oh, it's lame as fuck. We make a lot of money, <laughs> and you're busy yeah. for like one season. She's like, it's very lame. Yeah. Are uh, you? Are you? At, so Suicide Watch is still going, but are you like I at have a to go clean out my shit? I know from my girl's place. I'm fucking. I'm, you're well, lucky if I don't jump yeah, off the like Capitol the, building. The, I mean, it was your. It's your place. That's actually, true. Yes, yeah, true. No, not today. for one more day. As oh, of today. It, no, oh. today's the first. Today's the first. No longer my place. No. Uh, well, you don't. Get, you don't get your security deposit back. No. no. Come on, man. No. I, Is that not how it works? No. 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 Um, so. Uh, am I? Uh, you know. But are you at crossroads? Are you thinking about? You're talking about state jobs, like no. Please. You're back and connected. Now you move moving, so you're breaking up the podcast, but not worst Th- possible timeline because that can't go away. This sounds it's a national treasure. <laughs> this sounds like a diss Shout against out Eric. against throw state, his computer out the window against state there. workers, and it's not. It's I not, want not a bad life. I want all of you to be happy, and if you're happy being a state worker, then I support you. Of course, you know what I mean. Lots of people. Yo, you can go to a job. People. Some people can go to a job for eight hours. Go turn on. off the brain. Leave, turn it back on, and they're like, "Great!" And I got some right. money for that. Fantastic! Right. And you could like shit on your boss's desk and suddenly get fired for so sure. It's, but you ever see that Elmo meme of the like, uh, like I poop on the clock? Yeah, it's really <laughs> cute. It's cool. I think you could relate to it. Like that's the next self defense shirt. But, but you ask me, am I thinking about state work? Yeah. No sooner than I think about living under a bridge in Massbeth and sucking off homeless guys for money. That's pretty soon. No, 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 so so, no sooner. Let's be more realistic because neither of those Stewart Char- shop part time. You know what? That's got some appeal. That's like, got, that's got talk, some appeal. Like I was listening to this whole thing about comedians, where uh, somebody was talking about. He's like, "Yeah, I saw Chris Rock," and I'm like, "Oh, what do you got coming?" Up? He's like, "I got nothing. Fucking too happy. Too much good shit going on. Yeah. Not enough. Not enough like life experience." So he's like, "I'm gonna go fucking go to like Aruba. go to the grocery store every day for fucking eight hours and hang out, <laughs> like see real shit." Because you know he's fucking massively rich. What's he got to be? He has to work another day in his life. You yep. go work at Steward Shop, content. Oh, endless content. content. I was thinking about delivering calzones for the new uh, drug church record. Yeah, why not? And just make it a t- like the entire record, just a life account of my time delivering calzones. Right. Right. 472 <laughs> Bushwick <laughs> Avenue. I mean, I, th- we don't I want think we co- haven't noticed you taking notes of your feelings today. <laughs> like moving my shit up to Schenectady. A little uh, mini zine that we're going to do. Uh, I mean, uh, th- weirdly, my only shit is like a box of fucking my own, my own comics and some linoleum. That's I know, it. man. I can't believe you're moving linoleum. <laughs> yeah, but I, I think it's only just, from linoleum. Yeah. Linoleum. You, should, right. you should just leave it. Uh, <laughs> Yo, fuck it. Man. I will. Boom. Yeah. That's fuck. the equivalent of like like dropping a deuce in the living room yeah. and walking out. Just be like, your problem now. Yeah, Thirty eight pounds. You're Peace. linoleum now. Um, One piece autographed <laughs> to you from me. Yes. Patrick. Yes. Um, I was going to say something really gross, but yes. Please. Spoke, spoke to a guy who supposedly has the tile that uh, uh, they found Saddam Hussein underneath. Uh, fun oh. fact. Anyway, um, remember the, the rumor was that the singer from the drummer from Hope Conspiracy was one of the guys who found him. I think it was, but every, spoiler, it was. It, but everybody, <laughs> amazing, was it? Yeah, I no, think there was I like Adam Patterson. He would beat the shit out of any of us. He's but gigantic. what if? Real spoiler, it wasn't Adam Patterson. It was Adam and his package. What? End of the and podcast. He just played Goodbye. the song. 